Welcome back, everyone. This is episode 15, and Jesus, I've been at this for a while. So, I left off here on purpose. As a reminder to myself, I want to ally with these people. I'm actually in stack right now. You might think it's weird. Why is there a check in stack? A diplomatic status, specially named unique character. Hmm. Because this is a faction leader. I wish I could have actually taken over this town. Although I may have gone through stack, I never assaulted it. I actually killed off an Inquisitor that came to attack my outpost all the way over there. He came all the way over there. And he died to my group. And then they're like, oh, well. I guess Shek win and take over this town by attrition magically, instantly. Kind of weird, but that's how it works. Since it since stack was already unloaded, it was effectively instant. I just didn't notice it until it went up and I talked to a different faction leader, which we might come back to later. So the reason I'm here is I wanted to remind myself to ally with these guys, and the way to do that is by taking out the Bugmaster. Which happens to be something I need to do anyway, because I need his Meitai weapon. Horse chopper, I believe. Another thing is that I am still being raided by the United Heroes League, even though I think I took out their leader. He's called Lord Mirage or something like that. I made sure he died in acid. Uh, but for whatever reason, the next raid was already assigned before he died. So maybe it's just a title for the leader, not an actual unique character. So... Knowing that he's Lord Mirage makes things a little bit interesting because I happen to know where Mirage is. There's an outpost called Mirage, Fort Mirage. So I could go there and I could kill that off and maybe that'll stop the raids. That will free up some of my combat personnel. These guys are just fighting sand ninjas at the moment. Nothing serious. But I do definitely need some backup taking out the Bugmaster. I could probably pull it off solo. But he's not so low. He's assisted by many, many spiders. And I don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to bring some people wearing actual armor. They can help me take them out. So in the meantime, let's just run home. Make sure everyone heals up. Good. And you went to bed. Woo. Yeah, my equipment looks fine. Everyone's still so freaking heavy. Someone needs to stay behind to protect. I don't exactly trust Agnew to do it, but I don't need everyone to come either. Woo! That is my bad. I forgot to switch something else. Hope you guys didn't hear it. I think that actually came over the main speakers. Oh god, retribution of god. Okay. Wait, coming now? Without warning. I just brought this up. Where are you? Those are my allied reinforcements, which for some reason are running through rebirth. Okay. They're the oh, they're coming from Akron Shield. That's where the second named Inquisitor is. I'm on it. I might not even need to kill that thing. The outpost, I mean. I need I need everyone home and in the greatest condition possible. This could work out very well for me. Home field advantage, environmental advantage, everything. That's how you do it. Hopefully they get delayed in the desert. 
It would be great if my allied reinforcements get here before the bad guys do. But of course, in their opinion, I'm the bad guy. So, you know, perspective and all that. They'll be here before the thugs even spawn. That's a pain. That's a real pain. Everyone's getting food, right? You have a random helmet. <laughs> Where did I get that from? Yeah, everyone definitely seems... Oh yeah, someone had the cooking job. You got the cooking job? Yeah, how's that doing? Well, I bought that. Shoe sticks. Need bread. Oh, I just maxed it out. Okay, so as soon as that's done growing... Should go in and actually process everything. This I did on my own. That's not anything else. Okay. We don't have much time. Should get everyone in battle positions now. Actually, you're about to starve. Fifty. Perfect. You're going to be up here for a little while. Get up there. Please don't shoot beep. Spark is at 25 toughness. That's enough for you to get down on this. You guys are all caught up. Really? Wow, I'm maxed out on everything. You guys really aren't ready for this, but that's okay. We get to work anyway. All of you healed up properly. I already checked that. No one on block. If you select people on taunt, that's good. That's good. You guys are on ranged. Spread out. Oh, you guys should spread out, actually. That'll be good. Also, you don't get surrounded by. Wait, what are you shooting at? The ninja, apparently. Here, let me take care of that. Ready to go? He ran in the bill. Oh. No. He was a ninja. There he is. Good thing you can shoot backwards. Dude is ultra freaking dead. You're close enough to take the swords. Eh, never mind. Burn, get over there. Wing, wing, get over there. Igneous on melee. Actually, have Dignus shooting. 63 to 101. Oof. That's really going to hurt. It's really going to hurt if I miss. Cat's my farmer. Let's just play it safe. How you guys get in here? Job's off. Door needs to be closed anyway. 
beep outside. And that way we have some form of a welcoming party if they do break down the door, which they probably will. Actually, wait. Close it and lock it. You guys come up here. You can have turret support. I don't even think you can shoot that far, but it's worth a shot. Hold. At the very least, you can shoot it when it comes up the stairs. Actually, you... You're the most dangerous one. I don't want you shooting towards my people. So that's a good spot. Cat has a ranger. Knife has a ranger. They should be here. And you have rapid fire. So we'll be closest to the door. Everyone has ammo. More or less. P is on the turret. Good. <laughs> They're walking through the Black Desert City without killing everything in it. They must really be pissed off. <clears throat> Oops. I'm going to beep up here. As a scouting run, partly, and hopefully I can lure some people in here. I can actually swim, and I'm immune to the acid anyway. Oh, they're going around? Guess not. I don't find that. Who is your leader? Yes! Yes! <laughs> These guys don't even have shoes. They're all limping, and they're not even here yet. Interesting that he has his own little party. Paladins, a few Inquisitors, and then another Inquisitor followed by more Inquisitors. <laughs> and the Paladins, and these guys really fell behind because of, you know, acid. I'm going to see if I can distract this guy. His swimming speed is pretty good. Good. Please chase me. All of you. I knew this would help. Ouch! Swim. Swim like your life depends on it. Oh, damn. <laughs> that was close. I'd definitely be dead if physics were real. There he is. I do regret that, though. Are you going to chase after me even if I'm over here? You can't attack me over here. I need to get out of here before something bad happens. He's running for my outpost now. Okay. Medic, very quickly. Get back. I was able to lure them in. That's good. Uh, it's unclear how much of a difference that actually made. I mean, he's a quarter of the way dead. That's pretty good. Oh, don't go straight for the door. Don't go straight for my guard either. Get out of here. All of you, except for Pia. Not him. Uh, that was Get you in combat. You kill him. It's hard to keep track of. Oh, God. That was fast. Wait, what? The door was closed.
It says it's still locked, but it's open? Full condition. Oh, he's outside. All right, close it. Now the forces are split. I don't know if that's good or bad for me. Because my worst fighters are inside. <laughs> Ouchie. Of course it was the left arm. Come on. Come on, beep. You know what you're doing, man. Put him down. Minus 21 on my arm. Wait a minute. That hit for how much? I could lose my arm if I don't swap out. I'll leave the pants on, though. Okay, this is not going well. Yeah. Wow. Help. Garu. Attack. Oh, God, no. Stop hitting the same leg, dude. Where is everyone? Everyone's dead? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Agnew. Agnew, slowly getting up. Okay. Sad Neil. Oops. You're not going to help. Garu. Distraction. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh. I don't want to be Cyber Beep yet. No. I refuse. Dude has negative chest. Let's see if anyone's dying. Digna almost halfway to losing an arm. Garu, distraction. Please. I mean, if I could actually get a distraction, I might be able to kill this guy. I don't count on it, though. It's only one hit to knock him out. I don't have my crossbow anymore. Dig now, weren't you on top of the tower? <laughs> you, were, you were standing over here. Oh, oh my god. Look at all these dudes just calmly watching. And the ninja's still dead. Where'd my other people go? Knife fell off the tower. Cat fell off the tower. Digna fell off the tower. I'm starting to think it's safer to fall 100 feet. But seriously, these guys got taken out so fast. Probably just mobbed to death. Anyway, Agnew is back. Block. Actually, you can't block yet. You can take a few hits. Okay, Agnew. Actually, don't hit Medic. I only want you to heal yourself. But you can. I need you to bite. Run. Garu. Distraction. Distraction! That's not going to last much longer. Agnew. Not going to help me much either. Taunts. Get in here. Attack. Block. Run. Get him. Get him. Oh, Agnew's down. Well, I can't run. I can't sneak. I wasted my one opportunity to bandage up my legs. Hopefully, he hits me in the chest again and knocks me out. If 
hits me in the legs again, I'm going to have a serious problem. If he hits me in the arm, it's gone. Oh, Infinite Wing Wing is awake. It's not going to help much, but here, go after him. Beep, no! Okay, I'm actually fine. Unfortunately, everyone who got back up is going to be in pretty bad shape. Oh, God, P.S. Stay down. Okay, stay down. I'm not even going to chance it with your 25 stealth. Just stay there until I can get Beep to somehow recover. I do have beds out here. Just let them think that the assault is completed successfully. Let everyone else go home. I'll heal up everyone who's outside and then kill everyone in the tower. That's the plan. Agnew, don't get up. Thank you. Sneak. Passive. Has ended. Good. Tia, stay down. Stay down. Good. You did not stay down. You son of a bitch. Run, 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 run! Okay, Beep is going to be up shortly. How did you get healing? Did I do that? Anyway. The door's still... Oh, door's busted now. So hopefully they will all leave. Garu is fine. Agnew... Heal yourself, because that way you don't go over there. Pia, please make it outside. I don't need any more injuries. Good, good, good. Run over here. Heal yourself. That was not the plan. Looks like my robotics isn't that great. This could take a while. But it's actually in fine condition. Oh, someone did take him out. Alright, Pia, lone survivor, get out of here. Someone hit beep again. Stay down. I don't think I properly explained to you how dangerous this is right now. Go home. All of you, please go home. Uh, Wing Wing needs medical attention. They are slowly crawling away, that's fine. But the worst of them is standing right there. And how did you heal so fast? Was I clicking on the wrong one? I thought you were one hit from KO. Protect close allies from smugglers. Okay. That's fine. Go over there. Stop getting up when everyone is still here. Okay. Burn. Only robotics kits. Who? Crumble John has medical. Get on it. Yeah. That's good enough. Oh, I forgot about Sparky. If this one guy stays around, I will dump him in acid. I don't give a fuck. Okay, knife. 
a situation right now. Digna's dangerously close to losing a lot. Agnew is pretty much the only one here you can actually fight. Burns one hit away. Digna's one hit from losing an arm. Get out of here. You know what? I have two rangers. And Agnew is also a ranger. Oh, Digna can't walk. Well, that's... That sucks. Grumble John, dumbass. You walked into that. Burn is down. You guys focus fire. That's good. Beep. It still says you're staying low, but it doesn't look like you're going to get away from that. You actually, yeah, ranged. Shoot this guy. Oh, you can't because your armor's about to fall off. Just distract him, please. Oh, Beep is standing. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god. Am I losing limbs yet? No. Very close. Egg new. Toothpick. Suppressing fire. Knife. Shoot this guy. I need damage. Not in the arm. Shoot him somewhere important. Agnew, good job. Switch back to taunt. Buy me time. Shooting the legs is fine too. Arm doesn't help though. He's getting back up. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. How did it bring it over here? I thought you were unconscious. Crumble John. Cat. I say Wing Wing needed help. Still needs help. Uh. Pia made it. She has both arms. Okay. You can come back now, now that the main force is left. I'm just buying time here. Only until you get up. 40 some seconds, fully bandaged. Good. Please, for the love of God, stop doing zero damage. Who's that? Burn? Burn, heal yourself first. And you just stick around for a while. Crumble John, same deal. Heal. It won't stop you from getting knocked out like it were a robot. But it will mean you aren't going to go into critical condition if you do go down. Get back up eventually. Wait, who's in? Oh, Burns getting back. Agnew! Heal. Beep! For Christ's sake. Passive. Sneak. Go away. Life is supposed to be in combat support. Are you blocking? No, but you are taunting. Speaking of which, Agnew, taunt off. Someone needs to heal Wing Wang. Actually, Crumble John, get back to medic duty. In its entirety. <sighs> That's an Inquisitor. And the High Inquisitor.
Ooh, good job. <laughs> Wait, did you just break combat? Right when all your friends came to help out. Interesting tactic. Burn. You motherfucker! What do you want with me? <laughs> My run speed is two. Yeah, let's split injuries. Uh, see how far I can get on that. Ooh, that was close. <sighs> Why does it have to be an Inquisitor? Chromodon's down again. That's great. Wing Wang never even got a heal. Burn! Oh, shit. Is that Pia? Pia is knocked out with minus 75 to her other leg. Because I didn't see when she got here. That was my fault. Burn. Distraction. Beep. If I do anything, he's going to get closer and I have to fend off two attacks at once with negative 16 dodge. If I get hit in the chest, it's okay. If I get hit anywhere else, it's a problem. If I get hit in the left arm, or, God forbid, the leg again, I'm going to have problems. High Inquisitor Valtana hits for... It's like 40 damage, 50 damage through armor. I can only imagine that this guy would hit me for 40. That's not to pop off my arm. Left arm is actually a pretty high likelihood to get hit. So I don't want to deal with that. I do have knife. She can run at 20. And no one's swinging at me yet. But I can't dodge with a busted leg anyway, even if I do take off my armor. I don't think anyone's left in the tower. Knife, I need you over here. Burn, attacking target specifically. I was trying to get you out of here. Head? Oh, it doesn't help me. Like I said, I can't dodge. You only hit me for 7 in the arm? Or sorry, 14. 14. That's still dangerously close. Uh, the chest is the most likely to get hit. I'm hoping to get hit in the chest. Because if I get knocked out, they're going to leave me alone. My body can recover. And my medic skill is actually really good. If I just get the opportunity to split myself, I can at least at least get far enough where I can like swim in acid for a while. Tread water where they can't get me. It's really sad I've come down to that point. <laughs> Here, punch this guy. Or kick him, I guess. Thank you. Minus 27 chests. I can work with that. Ooh, I hope you're not attacking me. Yep. Okay. And that's the High Inquisitor. Hey, wait a minute. How far away can I bait you guys? Oh, you're slower. That would be none. Unless I use every trick I freaking know. We're just going to keep moving in one direction. <laughs> hope they leave the rest of my people alone. I need to keep them in combat mode. Otherwise, uh, they're going to catch up to me. The one with the silver sword. Or steel sword. That's Valtina. That's the one I want to go down. Not that I mind thinning the herd a bit.
I really wish it was Digna who was left and not Knife. The Ranger just doesn't have the damage output for this. I'm not even trying to... Where are you going? A crumble jump. Dude! Well, at least you should win this fight. It's really not the point. Beep. Yes, please. Stay playing dead. Passive. Hold. Sneak. Everything. Just stay the fuck down. Crumble John. Uh, break combat, maybe? I guess not. I don't want you to taunt, though. Hey, what's that? You stopped moving again. Why does that happen? It only seems to happen to the war leaders. Alright, well, Crumble John somehow managed to pull off another. I ran out of ammo. Uh, Crumble John pulled some more aggro, supposedly by taking the dude out. That's nice. Oh, burn. Minus 43 to the head. No. Go away. I don't even want you to double team. Just heal. Knife? I don't need you anymore. I'm sorry. I expect both of you to go down. Just please do it as far away from my base as possible. Come on, John's fine. Nice, doing work. Medic. How the fuck did Digna die? Weren't you just in recovery? Oh, P is back. There, three casualties. I said heal yourself, preferably. Now splint injuries. Is that the best you can do? I guess. These weapons do seriously extra damage to robots. He's in trouble if he gets hit in the head more than once. Which is actually possible, he can get hit while he's falling. Is anyone else in danger of dying? Infinite Wing Wang, yes, but it's going to be a while. He has lots of stun to recover. Agnew's fine. Sparky... Needs medical attention, but it's not urgent. Okay, what is my run speed now? If I take off sneak, 14. I do have a bed inside. But the door is broken. So if anyone comes over here, I'm screwed. But it is a pretty good bed. Let's just run. 
Check for enemies around the corner, on the horizon. Now we'll sneak. Yeah, that KO on standing up thing is really broken. It's just entering the attack animation is enough to knock you out. Okay, when Beep recovers, we can make some progress. Yes, auto save at my lowest point. That's great. <laughs> no better teacher than defeat and get immediately knocked back down. This is why I train toughness. Beep, this all relies on you and Pia. Pia needs to finish healing everyone. And not the people over there. <laughs> because that's just going to make more problems. But you do have both arms, so I could... Oh, both arms but only one leg? That's a problem. Just finish healing everyone here and then hide inside for a while. That's all I can really do. How is everyone anyway? Agnew over there. Wing Wang done. Going for cats. <laughs> no. Go heal Agnew. And then stop. They'll be fine. Beep is almost in fighting condition again. But I don't want to risk it. I need to get back into my dodge set. That's about the only chance I'm going to have. Yeah, you guys are just determined. Wait, you healed yourself. Okay. Colonel John still has good legs, although he can't run for anything. Unless I take his armor off. I really hope these guys don't put themselves in even more trouble. They can. Minus 36 to the head already. With no coverage whatsoever. And bonus damage from the enemy's weapons. You stay down. Or stay here at the very least. Stop getting up! Minus 126 to the head. Just all of you, stop. Stop. Please. It's just making it worse. Okay, this is where you follow this guy. You follow this guy. You say you're staying close, but you're not. Why are you walking that way? Oh, right, that's because I changed the AI settings. To follow military form. That's why she's standing over there. Okay, we're fine. And then both of you sneak. Everyone's lives now hang in the balance of Beep's recovery. So we're going to fast forward that. Let's try to double check everyone. I have to be careful that if anyone gets up, they don't do anything. Beep is already on passive. That's good. She might actually get up. Yeah. She'll get up eventually. So just be safe. Same doesn't matter. Alright, fast forward. Who is not sneaking over there? Oh, you're staying low. Burn. Doesn't have the opportunity. 
Mm-hmm. He will slowly recover. And where is... That is Valtena. Nice. Actually, you know what? P is my engineer. Come fix this. Sneaking. That's about my one advantage. So I have the turret up there. If I can keep them away from the turret, that's good. And now I have another raid on the way. But yeah. He only has 16 hit points. I'm not full of Sparky. Agnew's a defender. Need him. Garu, get out of here. All the way out of here. Sparky, you could actually be useful. I can get some free staggers from a puppy. So you follow Agnew. Cat has ammunition and a suppressing fire weapon, just like Agnew. That's good. Pia will be on the turret. Beep is recovered. Pia doesn't need a leg if she's on the turret. Well, she needs... What's this? Oh, you guys are still here too? Triple Inquisitors. Practically full health. I can't reliably engage anyone at this point. Oh, hey. Here's my allied reinforcements. All of them showed up without legs. Wait, are they standing in the acid rain? They're not getting worse, so I guess not. <sighs> what am I going to do about you people? I'll tell you what, what I could do. I have 80 stealth. And night is about to fall. If it really came down to it, I could fight him one on one. Pia, what's your weapon? Masterwork Old World. Plenty of ammo. Good. Let's actually get rid of that. Get rid of that too. Uh, that's that doesn't matter. She can't walk anyway. Might as well spare myself the skills if it comes down to that. Beep on the prowl. Agnew can't use a human bed. Cat can. Can't use it to maximum effectiveness though. I'll get Pia in bed for the moment. Or actually, infinite wing wag. It's right here. He's an actual melee guy. All three are getting up on the one guy. Yeah, let's just wait. Sorry, smuggler. I don't care about you. This guy first. Oh, I failed. Wasn't that... I actually didn't check the percentage. I thought that was really high. Well, that sucks. Meow. Goodbye. I said it this way. Yeah. Follow me if you want. I won't stop you.
I mean, oh, you guys better not follow me. You better not. So you actually willingly split up? I guess you did. Kill this fool. Dodge that attack. Now kill this fool. Don't wait for him to recover. Come on. Acid protection. No. I should take the medical. <laughs> Heal yourself. Let's go drop this guy in acid. Because I like doing that. Right in the middle. He might actually survive this. Seventy seconds KO from dropping him, and he's at minus forty-one. But his limbs are fine. Let's get him below that KO thresh point. Th thresh point, whatever. He's swimming away. I don't know if he's gonna make it though. Oh, I guess he did. I never took his sword away. I don't think it matters. Dude's dead. Dude is dead. Thank God. One down. There they are. Sneak. Take out 74%. Take him. Thank you. Sneak off. Kill this fool. There's a reason I clicked on him. Because I wanted you to get the first strike. Wait, who's compromising you right now? Who can see you? Oh, smugglers? I don't care. Okay, let's go. I need to actually make this guy go down again. I have time to fight him one more time before I dump him in acid. I need to make sure he actually gets up. Actually, you know what? If he's going to play dead, I'll just dump him in acid now. I don't care. It's sick. <laughs> Stay right there. He's in the water. Can you follow him? No. Let's beat him out then. His leg is not in good shape. So if I just knock him out one more time, he's done. There's no way he's getting out. So here we go, one more time. I don't even have to go that far in. Drop him right there. Is it minus? Oh, he's about to lose his arm. Full blood for some reason. Even though I do cut damage with my melee attacks. Martial attacks. 
Stomach pretty negative though. Minus 66 is his KO point. He'll be there shortly. Limb trauma. Yeah, he's dead. Alright. Next. This guy. At this rate, I'm going to have trouble with food. I did quite a bit in only six hours, though. As long as I don't have to wait for the next night to get in and do some more sneaky stuff. Oof, that was close. Holy Nation is pretty poorly armed in total, but their Inquisitors spare no expense. What the hell is your defense? 76? No wonder. It'd be great to be able to train on these guys. Oh well. Only down for four seconds. <laughs> Playing dead and healing yourself. No. Nope. I don't think so. Let's try this again. Right here is fine. Put him down. Run away. Kill for 45 seconds just from dropping him. And beat him up when he comes back out. Yeah, you don't like to play it in acid, do you? Dude is dead. Alright, get back and heal up. Inside. Wang Wang is fully recovered and can walk. Good. Looks like I can get away with a little bit more. Burns in bad shape. It's almost daybreak. How long till the other? There it is. Pretty far, and I'm moving slowly. If you don't wing lang. I think I have enough fighters to pull this off. Maybe. P is a crack shot. I'm not too worried about her legs anymore. Agnew. Let's just do this right. Sparky. Man, I could bring all of you. But I'm going to make Cat stay here. Sneaking. Uh, you guys all need to change. Range is good. Taunt. Sparky's about to have some starvation issues. It knew it wasn't actually supposed to be a taunt, but he might. He might. Actually, let's have Pia pick that up because Pia doesn't have a backpack. Uh, I'm going to quit for a reason. I'll leave it off. There we go. Almost made it. Daybreak is upon us, however. 
What are we up against? Four paladins and the High Inquisitor himself. With some hooligans, Crumble John, and a martial artist. And a puppy. A very, very old puppy. So let's get everyone over here. Wing Wing, where are you going? Ditching food. I don't think so. We're a little bit busy here. Pia needs to take sniping position. Beep needs to be over here somewhere. So we can sneak around back. And you guys and Crumble John. Take the front of the aggro. Crumble John still sneaking. Get up, make a mess. Pia, you're supposed to be on ranged. Why are you not shooting things? Oh. Your backpack has ammo. Dummy me. Yes! Combo strike! Don't take that shit, beep. <laughs> Edge 2 only, but I can take it and sell it. It's also really heavy. Hey, what's up, number one? Let's see here. This has been painful. <laughs> but this is the second High Inquisitor. I'm going to wait for this guy to get up, beat him up again, and then dump him in acid to make sure he dies. All right, I'm just looting him for nice cash monies. Oh, that's... Shit, that's a faction uniform. I can't sell that anyway. I can sell that, though. Oh well, you guys, back to work. Please get up, please get up, please get up, please get up. Yes. And him. Well, I want him unconscious for a lot longer than eight seconds. I guess I need to let you guys go do something else. And he might not get up this time because all his friends are down. That's fine. I'll do this the hard way. Pia can go back to medic. That's good. Actually, while I'm over here, I'll trade with the Garu. You can have that. Oops. Put down. And he'll swim to shore as soon as he's recovered. And then I beat him up again. Repeat until victory. Oh yeah, I actually took a sword, so that's going to be pretty easy. Pick up. Back in the water. And wait. One more time. Keep playing dead if you want. I don't care. Yes! Digna actually just died on this stream. Probably due to negligence on my part. He's dead. I wasn't paying as much attention as I should have. 
That seems to be a theme lately. Dead. I only had a 40,000 cap bounty. Oh well. He came from Ocarin Shield, which I haven't actually been there yet. I might have sprinted through it, but uh, I haven't visited it properly. I should go up there and see if it's been taken over. Because it's currently unloaded. It might be an instant transfer. Heal. Go help. Everyone else, get back to your usual selves before the next assault gets here. Who else was it? Knife. You can go back to your thing. Setting was on taunt for some reason. At least it wasn't Sparky, yes. At least it wasn't Sparky. Why are you in here? I guess you're waiting for the bed. Oh, hey, Cat is supposed to be cooking. Are you doing that? I guess I fell behind on my farming at some point. Why is plant condition only 50%? weird I've kept water topped up so that's not it oh I need food take a big one and let's go oh right the raid the raid is almost here so I better wait but does holy nation stop raiding me now that the high inquisitors are dead maybe I mean, I don't think that Holy Lord Ocarin is going to come down on his own. But I thought the raids were done last time when I killed the first High Inquisitor. So it might be wrong. Anyway, uh, the point about raids is that they have to have a war leader. Even friendly ones, like material traders, they have to have a war leader. Take out the leader, they go home. If they don't have someone to be a leader, then it doesn't happen. That's all I know about it. And that's the trader. Alright, so let's get all of you over here. Things are about to get serious again. Easy guys though. So, question. Is there another Lord Mirage? Wait for them to stop and make their announcements. Yes, there is. Interesting. You guys, get outside. And this needs to be closed and locked. I don't even care what you have to say. Kill these fools. Everybody. Oh, right. Knife is out of ammo. That doesn't need to be in your bag, but that's fine. Beep. Take out the leader. <laughs> they didn't even <laughs> properly activate yet. Don't let him go for the door. I need that food. Thank you. Oh, 
Yeah, the game should not be able to spawn another unique character. This is the second Lord Voltana, though. Not Lord Voltana, Lord Mirage. But I'm not sure that's a an actual unique named character. That could just be a title. That or it's glitched out because the next thug attack was scheduled before the first one was defeated and before I dumped the first Lord Mirage in acid. So that could be a problem. And I don't care about the trader. So we need to go up here. Well, it could be... It could have been intentional. I don't think it is because of how the rest of the game is coded. But it could have been intentional. That Lord Mirage is actually just... I don't know what you're shooting at, but stop it. Is actually just a uh, title. Not an actual person. It's possible. Whoa, what? What just ran in there to make everyone freak out? Are you following me? Why am I your master? You never even saw me. Well, that complicates things. I was saving them for later. How on earth did you start to level Beeb's martial arts skill? Not until I leveled my weapon skills. You can see I'm at 69 katana, 18 saber, and 22 hacker. 71 melee attack, 57 melee defense. I did that because I wanted dexterity, toughness, and strength before I even started bothering with martial arts. So once you have those things, once you have equipment, then you can start training martial arts. It'll be a much smoother experience, trust me. But since these guys are following me, I might as well leave the building. Oh, hey, free skeleton repair beds. How about that? And more healing, that's nice. Just skills and shredders for some reason. How did this dead guy get inside? I guess he was damaged outside, came back in and degraded from uh, cut damage. Same as him. I don't care. Ooh, more generic cores. And some stuff to sell. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it somehow seems fitting for B to have an unquestionably loyal army of broken skeletons. Yes, it is. Uh, did, it, did you know that Agnew, the broken skeleton, is actually Beep's best friend? They have unique dialogue together. And he happens to be a soldier bot. If you compare that image down there with these heads. Same race and everything. Very fitting. But if I find anything, even traitors, they will attack. And they're not even that great. I mean, some have, like, this guy has 50 defense. The next guy might only have like 10. They're super random. That guy's at 27. 24, 31. Yeah, super random.
Right. Uh, how about surviving early fights? Odal has the right idea. You don't want to be fighting with cut damage. Fighting enemies with cut damage. Don't even try against things like dust bandits or, God forbid, wolves, big things, any animals. Don't even try until you have armor. Stick with hungry bandits. Or, I know this sounds terrible, but cannibals. Alright, cannibals are great training. Just make sure you have, you can lockpick first. Lockpick yourself out, maybe train up your stealth first. It can actually be very beneficial to get captured by cannibals. Not that I recommend it, but it is a valid pursuit. I was going to use these guys to help me take out United Cities. I wanted to see if I could use United Cities to help me take out the Holy Nation first. So if I go up here to find out that Ocran Shield has already been taken over, I waste this army. If I run into anything along the way, I waste that army too. Fogman, yes. Uh, Fogman is actually how I did it in this playthrough, because Beep starts in Mongrel. To my initial training, got my initial equipment, got my run speed over 20 before I left, because otherwise you're screwed. <laughs> and then I left and I fought Hungry Bandits for a while. I guess I can send Pia, she's actually faster. 35 run speed. I don't care about your wares. Unless I'm out of food. I'm almost out of food. Okay. And yes, you can sell fog heads for money. Go on. Ooh, fabrics. I actually wouldn't mind that. Don't care about the rest. Someone is carrying fuel, and I could farm electrical components. That's not a problem. Oh, I want to sell this. Can you even afford it? Yeah, good. Take that. And the helmet. That was for sale. And he's, yeah, he's already out of money. Okay. Go on your merry way. Pia gets to do the scouting mission after she eats. And go see who is there now. Try that again. Go. Go. It's a huge delay for some reason, but she seems to have figured it out. And then I'll know where to take my army. Alright, acid rain. That's a thing. So specifically, I wanted to use that army against Hang and Trader's Edge. I don't think I'm ready to take that on yet. I guess it would be fitting to bring an army of spell, uh, broken man-hating skeletons. Theoretically, man-hating. Everything-hating skeletons against the Holy Nation. Blister Hill, I suppose, but I'm not ready for that either. I need to do more combat training on my individual people. What I had planned for this episode has been a bit delayed, but I could still pull it off. However, I was planning on using... Oh, bad. Okay. I was planning on using Beat for that, which would be a problem. That would be a problem now. I wouldn't even make it there without engaging in combat. I guess I didn't discover it yet. What do you say? 
still called Ocran Shield. There are destroyed buildings. I don't see any guards. Wait, wait, wait. Those are guards. Samurai! Yes! Make it official. Faction United Cities. Are you not able to take the skeletons upstairs, run outside, and close the door? That might work. I don't know if they would follow me again when I came back. There are known issues of them randomly like glitching through walls and things. Because their pathfinding behavior is a little aggressive. I bet I could take out Narco's trap. I was planning to go super military, but as we just saw, that's not possible yet. You know what? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to lock them all in here. If that doesn't work, or if, if it doesn't work, I'll live with it. If it breaks, I'll reload the save. I don't even have to go upstairs. Just get them in here. Because I like to follow a little bit behind you. And just barely walk out the door. Oh, they opened it. Yeah, they won't let me... They won't let me close the door. They're not considered enemies, so when I sneak, they sneak. Because they're following me. So I can't hide from them and run away. Yeah, they're known to just like randomly teleport to you. <laughs> Across untold distances. You can get AI cores from Narcos Trap. Hmm. That would be mostly useful to me at the moment for sale, to be honest. Not that money is a problem. Oh, man, why? I would love to take these guys against the Bugmaster, but I would never make it there. Not even one of these guys would make it that far. They'd end up killing everything. <laughs> See a trader caravan and half of them would die. Find some berserkers, the other half would die. I'm not worried about tech hunters yet. Those guys are super spread out. And they provide vital services for this run. I'll kill them off later. United Cities has 39 samurai. Including a leader of some kind. Possibly. Actually. Yeah, I can check that. What are the buildings in here? General storage, armory, barracks, hospital. With the cross and everything. Or the, you know what I mean. Armory is, of course, private. Let's go see what's in there. Oh, there's even a no trespassing sign. I just want to see who is in here. I'm not terribly interested with what is in here. Some conscripts. 
anyone named? Guess not. So I don't know how I would actually destroy this town. A leader could be in a different town. That's totally possible. I know that's a thing. But what town is the problem? And also just out of curiosity, where is the center of that town? Right there. Okay. How about roads? You don't have any navigation issues, do you? No, the road is pretty clearly outlined. That is such a mess to look at. Okay. Well, I need to make this decision now because there's dying, currently dying? What the hell happened to you? You don't have a repair kit. Okay. Well, their most use to me as distractions. I still have to get them there. And there is a Mei Tao to grab in Trader's Edge. If everyone's recovered, I can try it. Sparky's going to be starving by the time we get there. Knife is sleeping. She would stay here anyway. Cat would stay here. Is there another raid coming? No. Animals can't get to my base, so that could be a problem. All right, I'm going to try it. Pia. Let's got the opposition. Beep. Get ready for the trek, which means getting... Actually, you can't stand in there. You stand close to the way station, you'll run into traitors. If you stand in here, you can get blasted by acid clouds. P is already on the way. Let's get Sparky. Let's get everyone up there. Actually... Do this appropriately. Everyone follow Crumble John. Crumble John, go. He's a little too slow at the moment. How fast are these guys? 19? That's not too bad. Oh, shit. We gotta move. They would all die against that thing. I can't let them fight it. Oh, this is all pointless. I'm trying to go this way. Can I swim up there? Let's try it. Yay! Okay, how long until I know? They're not even near the way station yet. Well, my scout would be there in a couple minutes. That's a normal iron spider. They could probably take that out, but they're still going to take some heavy damage, and I don't have a repair kit. So we go around. Protect the master? What? What are you seeing right now? You're following me, but you're still screaming? It's like they want to fight something. Oh, what's this? Ninjas. I think that's what they got carried away with. Wait for them to go away. Oh, yes, I could slow down B. That's a good idea. That's 
It doesn't make much of a difference right now because I'm running in short bursts. I'm trying to avoid these gas clouds and whatnot. Run to a safe place and wait. But over long distances, that's a really good idea. I don't care about the acid rain. Made it past the ninjas. Watch for the clouds. Last time these things definitely weren't this stationary. I don't know what that's... Oh, damn, that's close. I'm at 29 stomach now. Let's just... Fall back. Oh, freaking lightning. Let's just chill in the rain. P is there. What am I looking at? 68 residents, that includes uh, bar patrons, everything else. 70 in Trader's Edge. That's going to be a problem. I don't think I can pull it off, but there are definitely a lot of residents that will be no problem at all. That even includes the Shinobi Thieves, which are my allies at the moment. So they should help me out. There's nothing PA can do that can make this easier. I don't even think there's a building to buy. Oh, there's residential, I guess. With one random floating dude. Bar patrons are easy. That includes the basic hires. Yeah, just chill out, wait for everyone else. Wait for Beats to recover. I need to sprint through that stuff next time. Being at high speed and just waiting in one spot was a very bad idea. Looks like that trader never made it home. Okay, it's time to go. What if you hire all the mercs one day before the assault? I could do that. Or four one day hire before the assault. Get through all these gas clouds. I would need to do that before I get there with the broken ones. Okay, slow down. I walk directly. Please don't find anything to. What is going on right now? Outlaws. At least I get to see your guys' stats. 40s and 50s. Get to the bar. No bodyguards? Hmm. How about this one? I remember this whole thing is pointless if they get distracted and die. Thieves, residential. More bandits. Coming to soften everyone up. I'm fine with that. I don't know how good the police are in this place. And yeah, that used to be a bar. Apparently it's not anymore. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't see any bodyguards. Be careful against skimmers, especially. That cut damage is a problem. Bone dogs. Oh, there's a nest right over there. Skimmers, I bet. Nope, doggies. What is it with all the freaking dogs? This goes to the skim sands? Anyway, I'm almost there. Almost there, just don't run into any freaking bandits. I keep checking the map because you can't see the actual dens until you get right next to them. There's apparently another one right over here. There's a city. Have I told you this is a really bad idea? This is a really bad idea. Also, I'm half dead to my stomach already. I have to swap out my best armor for a little more protection. Dodge to 29? Oh man, that sucks. 17. It's gonna be fine, yeah. What the hell are you looking at? We made it this far. Oh, those are easy, easy pickings. Okay, we're gonna be all right. Just stick to me. Oh, some of the guards are outside? Perfect. Even better, it's the gate guards. Unfortunately, as soon as I attack, everyone else might aggro. So let's get everyone friendly outside. I don't want them getting swarmed. Oh, you still have to the vagrants. Are you only attacking the vagrants? Hey, where'd that come from? The free traders? Who's with the free traders here? Traders Guild. Probably a guard from the other side. United Cities. Pack Animal must have gotten separated. They don't seem to be attacking them. That's definitely changed. Well, since we're outside, let's do it. And these guys better help me or I'm running away. Ouchie. Okay, things might be okay. P is doing ranged things. Sparky is doing his thing. 
Beep is taking a lot of unnecessary damage. Damn, Sparky, you hit with 36 through armor. It's actually going pretty well. Let's switch back out. Things are going to be different in the city, of course, but a little more agility will mean I get more hits off with my most powerful people. And dealing more damage. Better dodge. Oh, I should have brought my pack beast so I can pick up these swords. They're going to sell really well, and I don't want to fight these guys twice. They're not going to stack, so I don't have to pick them up that easy way, or the hard way. Swords. What? Oh, dude is still awake? Put him down. Put him down. Steal, steal, steal. High-grade samurai? That's pretty good. I really don't want to be wearing a uniform, though. You can pick up the skeletons and give them samurai armor from the guards. Dude. You have opened up a whole new world for me. I'm going to do that. Uh, well, first I need the armor. Need a robot. You okay? Bounty hunting? Oh god, that's probably me. Uh, okay, I should pick up this one. He's in great condition. Pick up. <laughs> more I need more armor beep doing work good job I'll take that I'll take that and that and that specialist chain shirt huh? I like that you are in trouble. You're fine. Let's pick up this guy. What's that? Oh, the cost. Look at that crazy hair. Are you someone special? Yeah, the sergeant. You know when someone's special when they don't wear a helmet. Specialist, specialist, everything. That's nice. Skeleton. What? Ooh, this is getting dangerous. It goes to the city. Get this guy. Get this guy. That really sucks that you didn't get him while he's distracted. But he just randomly lost an arm. <laughs> if I can keep fighting them like two on one like this, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Where's Crumble John? Oh, he's right there. How convenient. You're still carrying a skeleton. Oh, that's my bad. Is that another one? Get it. It's Samurai Police, that's different. He doesn't have what I want. But I'll take some uh, healing. Uh, heavy Jeets. 
Robots might be good with that. I'm not sure. Actually, what's... Uh... What am I thinking about? Heavy weapons? No bonus to soldiers. Or blunt weapon, sorry. Blunt, no bonus. It's better than they have now. I'll take and sell it. And now I have <laughs> an army of robot Ronin, I suppose. No, don't do that. Don't take free hits. Grumble John. Keep on with it. I don't know where you went. But you need to come over here. Ooh, high grade. You're doing good. Pick him up. I should put all these swords in a different bag. It's really cluttering things up. And they're all huge. Okay, you need to heal very quickly. Heal and get back at it. Careful there. Try to burst him down as much as possible. There, the beep save the day. That's good. Okay, he went down. Fell off the cliff, unfortunately. I'll let him go. Try to keep beeping one on ones. Martial arts is really good in duels. And this is why I'm taking things away from people. So I can just do that. And they're done. Knock them off the ledge! Well, almost. I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. Another one of you police people. Annoying. Ouch. Caravan guard? From what? Oh, the free traders. Mercenary plate? I don't really want that. Sword hardly sells for anything. And I don't need you running around with it either. That, that skeleton's in trouble. I need a good skeleton. like that one. This guy's just chilling. He doesn't care. They're still fighting out here? Here. Pick him up. I'm getting really slow now. <laughs> yep. Or not, whoop, it'd be more of a wink. Get back to it. Help him out. Good job. Loot, loot, please. 
Are you okay? No. Um, this one. Thief? Yeah, I don't care. It's not technically theory. It's looting. It's not my fault you were unconscious. It was a legion of robot Ronin. It's their fault. I didn't want any of this to happen. I'm only making the world the best of a bad situation. I took out a lot of dudes without even entering the city. <laughs> Uh, Agnew, you have one small repair kit. I suppose you can get started. Though I have to do all of it by hand, which is pretty annoying. Crisis averted? Did you just say that? I thought you couldn't say anything more than master in danger. Well, I guess I can get Agnew in on this too. And Pia? Why not? Go repair people. Last time I did this, I only had one person to heal, so it took quite a while. Oh, where are you coming from? Random patrolling samurai? Please don't be mad. Medic? That's a problem. Kill this fool. And all the robots are going to go help. It makes everything really annoying. But I guess since I'm picking up all the time, that would be an easy way to repair them. If I were so inclined. Cool. Alright, burn, go heal people again. Starting with the armored ones. And anyone nearby because I'm lazy. Pia. There. It's a start. Oh, more combat. That is not who I clicked on. I don't even know where he went. Get this guy. Caravan guard, beating up on my skeleton. It won't be long until he comes up here. Remember, my chest was already halfway down when I started this fight. <laughs> I've hardly taken any damage at all. And now that it's nighttime, I could get sneaky if I wanted to. Get him. I'm pretty sure Master has been protected, dudes. Okay. Report. Everyone is doing fine. If I really had to, I could actually heal up in this tower. Or they're not at war with me yet. Relations minus one. <laughs> I don't know why. But it's only minus one. So if things get dangerous, I could just go chill out in one of their bars for a while. And try again in a couple days. Win by attrition within their own walls. I suppose I should, yeah, I suppose I should start with the police. Oop. Here we go. Gate guards are down. There's only one guy left. 
bunch of people in jail. One guy upstairs. Okay. Well, I have the advantage here, Mr. Heavy Jeet. I get plus eight martial arts indoors. Having this many people is actually a nuisance because <laughs> my best fighters aren't attacking. <laughs> they just get mobbed to death. <laughs> I mean, it works. Very effective. Gotcha. Police chief. Oh, um, Agnew. You can use. I guess not. Burn. There we go. That's a pretty good weapon. So it's for 4K. Oh, I don't need that. But yeah. It is quite appropriate that Beep is the master for this run. Ah, oh, stop hitting me in the chest! Put this fool down. Can't even get in there. PA, don't tell me you're shooting the wall. Oh, damn. Okay. Get inside. <laughs> I suppose that's what happens when you kill off all the gate guards. What? There we go. Stay down. Why is Burn not moving? Are you stuck? I guess so. Pia, go fix him. This is why you should always have at least two characters. By the way. Clothing shop, don't care. I don't care about the individual guards. At least not until later. I believe they do have to die for this place to can be considered finished. Okay, everyone's going to follow Crumble John because I want him to take the most of the egg roll. And I should have brought food. I didn't think of that. Well, I can loot it while I'm here. After I do the big fight. He's the closest, so egg roll. Sparky, no! Oh, he's fine. Where are you going? Why are you fighting down here? Crumble John conveniently right there to pick up where he left off. And you know the robot. Well, on the bright side, the ones who aren't armored are going to die off pretty quickly. <laughs> They'll all be pretty uniform shortly. Ooh, Pia on the sniper platform. Doing work, doing work. And drop. Good work, good work. John, keep collecting weapons. It's actually going to be really important later. The armor is a bit too much micro, though. 
I'll let that go. Okay, get behind him. Nice. Oh, this dude? No, he still has a sword. I'm running out of room. I don't want to carry that there. Might have to make one of the other bags the bag of bags. second. Whoa, 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 no. Need to keep that. And now it's marked as stolen. Great. Oh, well. You need to heal yourself. Whoa, what? Oh, dude is already dead. That's why. I thought that looked weird. And this isn't good. Yeah, he's not going to live much longer. Let's just overpower as many as I can and just keep up the trend. Thanks a lot, Pia. Alright, he's already down. Get back to it. Is right here. Good. Are you down yet? It won't be long. Are you special? Oh, gate guard. Here, stay over there. If I could hit with that crossbow, it's a free hit, free hit! Oh, no one took it. <laughs> I can't believe as many of them are still alive. Someone's attacking. Just want this dude to go down so I can take his weapon and be done with it. He takes so little damage. Okay. Trying to run away. Self preservation, apparently. Missing an arm, eh, that's probably why. Okay, well, I'm in my best sneaking gear, so let's do that. And see how protected you are. Apparently, hardly at all. Traitor's guards, you are so weak compared to everyone I just killed. Yamdu. This guy. He is the one I'm after. But there are quite a few samurai guards, including a captain. Oh, multiple captains, multiple heavies. Great. Well, it happens to be nighttime. I hate to be that guy.
but we're gonna do this the easy way. Bonk. Oh yeah, don't give the assassination order while he's in the animation for another assassination. He'll get stuck doing it again. Okay, he's the one I want to kill, so I'm going to make sure that I don't... Ooh, only 61%. Let me try it. Ugh, ouch, I didn't need that free hit. I did not need that free hit. So now we run downstairs. And let the robots help. And heal. This is the guy. This is the guy. Attack target. One, one freaking hit. And he's at minus 90. I want that. I want that. I want that. And I want this. Unequipped. That is Maytow number four. Masterwork dyed robes. With 3% cut resistance. I am so impressed. Masterwork boots? I'll take those. And now... I mean, I have what I came for, but... I still have an army, so I should make the most of it. No, no, no. Freaking left arm damage. Stop it. Robots, help me. Actually, how about everyone help me? It's like quite a few people are coming. If it wing wings here, Agnes here, that's good. Stop. Let's plant injuries, because I'm going to need that extra damage. Double team the easy guys first. Burn! I guess you get to collect weapons too. <laughs> okay, the guys I KO'd from stealth are down for about another minute. Combat sparks are a great touch, by the way. Okay, get you next. Or actually get you next, and I get hit back. Ouchie. Oops, not Colonel John. Go back to what you're doing. Burn is already up here. Or actually, if in a wing wing, you have a bag. Pick that up. Oh, you can't fit that. Okay. Go back to do your thing. I need to collect. Just for safety's sake. Ow! Beep taking more hits in all the wrong places. No leg damage, though. That's good. Who is this guy? A normal basic samurai. We'll just slip in behind. Take you out. Do you have a weapon I can take? Yes, you do. Oh, I interrupted you in the middle of a jump. That's my bad. Nice. Is there anyone who can carry? Oh, I can. Ha. Huh. 
Oh, this guy's gonna be so easy to kill. <laughs> Minus 162 to the head. Yeah, yeah, he's he's dead. Archie, stop it with the freaking arm, man. Really, I'm pointing my dodges though. As I say that. It'd be really nice if the rest of my people were up here. They got carried off by the other things. Ooh, P is not in good shape. Sparky's fine. Everyone else who's actually wearing armor is doing great. Okay, so get in here. Get in there. Heal. Oops, I did not want to click on that. Take this guy out. Check everyone for weapons. This guy's a weapon. Oh, crap. I don't have any space for that. Anyone close enough to pick this up? Where are all of you? Only on the lower floor? Here, you get that. Oh, that's a lot of samurai left. Get this guy. Oh, oh, get this guy. He's already down. Oh. Yeah, martial artists are glass cannons. So it's not like this was expected. Oh, Sparky. That was a big hit. That's gonna hurt. Make Pia get on medic duty. At the very least, heal herself. Heal. And steal. Oh, error code. I don't need your weapon. Don't just stand there! Ah! Is the worst place to be. Alright, egg new. Collect. Continue. Get this guy right there. Is there freaking anyone? Our Agnew has the little pack. Where are you, man? You're right there. Go get that. Back off again. Take. Arms in really bad shape. Really bad shape. Yeah, he'll be fine if I can get him to stop taking free hits. But every time they swing at someone else while he's standing next to them, he gets a free hit off. Which is terrible. Especially against the little dudes who can't block. Let's see if there's anything to splint. I guess not. He's so freaking fast when he targets someone, he's already there before I can tell him to stop. Here, get downstairs. Oh, I didn't steal your stuff. Well, we better get him then. Well, nope, no, no, nope. Ah, oh, you bugger! All right, hit me for eleven. I can take a hit like that. 
Oh, I guess I don't need to. Medic. You still have a weapon. That sucks. Oh, I guess you don't. I'm bugged out. I'm fine with that. I do not care what you think about my methods. You know, it is the winners who wrote history. And I will say that it was not thieving, thievery. It was confiscation for a greater cause. to Wing Lang, of course. Anyone? Good. <sighs> you should be close enough now. Good. Get behind him. Get behind him! The reason I keep trying to get behind him is, even though he's using a tiny weapon, he still has AoE on that thing. I do not want the free hits. Do it! What are you doing? Oh, he's coming to help. Come on, also coming to help. Do you even have medical? Oh yeah, I gave it to you as part of my stealing. That'll work. Wow, thank you for the host there, uh, Smoking Dank 5280. And for those of you just tuning in, I just grabbed this Maytow, the special longsword from one of the unique characters here. Which was one of the purposes of this. The other was to put my temporary robot army to good use. Colonel John, of course not. Burn, good. Gotta be careful with that arm. But if I'm fighting people who don't have weapons, look at this guy. He's minus seven martial arts, even with the indoor bonus. He couldn't do any damage to me if he wanted to. Which, of course, <laughs> he does want to. Ooh, he has a sword. Big sword, too. I'll take that. Wait, someone here is awake. You're awake. Well, you better get back up then. Too late for you. I didn't even try to loot this place yet. Ooh, who are you? Random, untouched samurai captain. That is not good. I can't take you on solo. Not in my condition. Burn's the only one who can do it. Get up your burn. And you need to medic. Oh, there he is.
Oh, Infinite Wingman coming to help. All the robots coming to help. Yeah, I'll be all right. Wait, is he already down? Oh, I'm on the wrong floor. Come on. Oh, Infinite Wingman has a hacker class. That's a great weapon for this. Well. Okay. I brought Beep up here to bring all of his uh, friends. And the occasional sneak attack. If I can pull it off. Looks like I might not even need to. stuck in there. Let's put you on passive. Wait until this is over. <laughs> no! Ah, it's all fine. Down. I'll take that. And you still have plenty of room to do some looting. Books too. That's nice. Oh yay! I'm so glad I found that. You will pick that lock. That's actually not too bad. Grumble John also has the stacking backpacks. Oh, these don't stack because they're all stolen. That sucks. Well, I will make this work regardless. What? Who can see me right now? Is someone playing dead? You're playing dead. Here, pick him up. Put him back down. Anyone else? Hmm. Maybe there's someone downstairs. That's really annoying. As far as I'm concerned, everyone's neutralized. Yeah, that's it. Steal it on beep and then switch it over. Okay, so briefly, you can hold my special backpack. What? Even I can't do it? Oh, my thievery is only 18. Right, because I'm not a thief. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, take that, take that, take that. It's not what I tried to do. I wanted to do it like that. I guess I need to go find someone to kill. Why don't you just chill out downstairs? You guys are all healing up. That's good. Where'd he go? Oh, he fell through the floor. Apparently it wasn't him. It's still at 64%. And someone is still fighting out there. Apparently with my robot friends.
Well, I'm just going to keep trying it then. 65% isn't all that bad. Okay, carry on. I mean, it's 3,000 cats. Yeah, take that. Oh, he's back. Get him. He's a martial arts, so this won't take long. Oh, I never finished picking that. Not too bad. Actually, hold on. Arrange that. This one's already arranged. Good. It's a little bit of... <laughs> Subtle OCD, don't mind me. Do not mind me. Beep is doing fine. This should be at the top. Whatever. <laughs> Can't be bothered to fix that much. Uh, let's get everyone outside, I guess. What was that? Still 50 residents? MP is not moving. Well, burn's in the best condition to carry. You can handle that. I have what I came for. Uh, the Traders Guild is now hostile to me. But I think United Cities is still fine. Yeah, minus 16. We're okay. The bigger portraits and better looking items a setting, or do I have a mod installed? Well, better looking items used to be a mod, and it's actually now part of the base game. I assume you're talking about things like that. As for bigger portraits, as far as I know, none of my mods influence that, but it will change based on how many people you have in the squad. So I'm not sure what you're seeing. As for mods that I do have installed, I have Dark UI. This is why everything is so much easier to read, but I don't believe that it actually changes any of the formatting. It just changes the windows and the text. Uh, the, the only one thing I could think of is Imperator. And the only reason I say that is because it changes the maximum squad size. That could have an effect on it. But I don't know, because I haven't played without it in over a year. I'm going to rob a bank. This random unconscious samurai. 16. Secure wooden chest. Yeah, that doesn't exactly make sense. 5% to pick the safe. So I can actually do it. And you guys are just basic trader guards. You are actually hostile to me. You can see it's on red. They're not attacking me right at the gate. Don't know why. I see four guards. No one upstairs. Private beds? Of course they are. Okay, well, Beep is still in fairly bad shape, so we're going to pull you back. And I didn't want to send you guys upstairs, that's my bad. That's just engaging combat. Everyone's nice and spread out. There we go. Opening strike. Good. Steal. I'm only doing this because I don't want to deal with their weapons later. They will get back up. Whoa, dodge that. Yeah, 
Yeah, B was getting pretty dangerous on the arm there. The guys are getting beat up because they're too concentrated together. And they use lots of heavy weapons, which are weak indoors. Which is why I have doggies and ranged people who will not be helping me this time. Unfortunately. Also, martial arts is good indoors. As demonstrated. I just have to make sure I don't get hit. It's just the hard part. Ooh, ooh. Let's click attack. There we go. It's also good for cleaning up. Actually, come to think of it, I think UI size is... See, here's font size. Graphics? I don't know. It's been so long since I've changed my controls, I don't even know. Nice dodge there. Infinite Wing Wing, take this one. Beep needs to get started. Please don't find many people to fight outside! Sparky, no! Oh wait, you're actually a friend. I just have to get that one samurai. What weapon does he have? Small one? Okay. I'll wait for that. Take that, take that. You don't need that, you can give it to Crumble John. No, oh, it doesn't matter. I have plenty. And you were actually unconscious, that kind of sucks. Oh, don't fight the other gate guards. I'm a bit injured for that. Just hold on the fort. You can stay inside. Heal yourself. And Beep needs to get to the looting. Which actually kind of sucks, because he doesn't have any room in his bag. I'll take that. Just start at the front and work our way back. I've always wondered what was in the bag. Better just be a bunch of cats. <laughs> That's 2,000 cats already. More money. Money is freedom. That's a good thing. You should read it if you find it. Here's another 3,000. Hey, how did I just get caught? 42% chance. Stop it. Everyone is dead. They should not be able to prevent me from stealing if they're unconscious. Or playing dead. That is bullshit. There. And I'm not getting any better at stealing either. Armor plating, that would be good to sell. But let's just focus on the money. And I'm actually going to save. I don't think it's here, uh, but I have heard of a special cat that if you pick it up, you go billions of dollars in debt instead of gaining money. Uh, so just in case. There's also food in here. That's 2,000. Very nice. A random leg in the... How did he even get there? Did he, like, fly over the wall? Anyway. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a lot of freaking copper plates. Well, it's a good thing someone has that. Oh, it's not in the stacking backpack. Alright, wing wang. 
inside. You need a stacking backpack. And then also take that. Oh, I give you the wrong one. That would be why. You can have that, you can have that, and that. And you can actually have that. That is really annoying. Okay, it's not any better in sneak for some reason. And that was stolen from a different person. So let's throw that in here. And now it stacks correctly. You can have that back. I want that back. Stacking bug on Crumble John. It looks fine. Oh, except for that one book. I can fix that. Actually, they're all stolen from the same person. That was just my fault. Oh, kill yourself. You can't. You do it. Empty. This one needs to be picked. Oh, armor plating. That's not... Oh! Shopkeeper? I don't think so. Everyone's going to get back up and the fight starts all over again. I need to take off sneak so that my robot goes helps. Oh, that guy has a sword. I won't have that. See, that was all 100% chance. That's how it should be. Everyone is unconscious. Should pick up the armor plating too. Yeah, it'll stack well. Go get that. Get the food. I'm sure, people are gonna need it. Gmail sheets. Gmail sheets. Why aren't you going over there? You just got stuck. And you have a broken arm. Broken arm. That's great. Egg new. You do it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm just trying to steal everything you have. You don't need to bother me every couple of minutes. Okay, can you go stand over there? It's bothering me that you're picking the lock through the wall. Are you guys okay? Yeah, you're fine. Slaver boss? He doesn't use weapon either. Get that here. Everything in here is locked. That's annoying. But I guess the point is that if you were to try to... Oh, damn. That if you were to try to sneak your way in here, you would have quite a difficult time. So you'd have to be in here forever <laughs> to get all the loot. And carry on. Stop it. Just go on passive. And which of these is harder? I'll start with the easy one. B 
is almost back up. Great supporting character. This is a great lockpicking experience. Hello. Caravan guard now? Free traders. Free traders. Neutral. I think you guys are attacking on your own. That's annoying. Don't know why they would aggro otherwise. Oh, you got it. What? Why is there a Leviathan Pearl in here? No one who's... Oh, wait, what? You are awake. Are you going to come get me? Dude is so angry at me, you just started twitching. <laughs> he wasn't even conscious. <laughs> like you're supposed to be on the belly to do the worm. Not on your side like that. It just looks weird. Anyway, Revive and Pearl. No idea why that's here, but I'll take it. Yeah, my people are not aggroed on these guys, so I don't care. I accomplished what I came to do. This is all just fluff. Six more Leviathan Pearls! <laughs> Why? That is so much freaking weight. I'm at 67% encumbrance now. Well, I have to find a bed. So I should go find the tech hunters. Let's just get outside. If you're a wing wing, don't tell me you got stuck again. Okay. Okay, body count. How are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All accounted for. Just a little quick healing. Check everyone's run speed. Crumble John is at six. All that loot? Yeah, of course it's all that loot. This one's heavier. Was it? Yeah, a little bit. That uh, doesn't help me any. Oh well. Actually, hold on a second. How are you doing? Absolutely fine, and I don't want that. You're also the fastest runner of us all. You can definitely take some weight off. About this one. You can still run it 19. There, 15. Come on, I can wear that. Yeah. That brings me up to 9. Much better. Alarm raised. Uh oh. Harmathel? Those are some really high stats. Are you unique? Hold on. Say before I talk to this person. Those don't look like Maytel. Hmm. Well, I do need some food. 
Agnew with the stacking back. Oh, wait a minute. I can sell stuff. That would reduce my weight. We'll start with... <laughs> if I could sell just one of these, that would help. And of course, it counts as... Ooh, wait. 43% Traders Guild. Crap. Samurai is all 50-some percent. 12 for this random ring saver that doesn't even remember who it was stolen from. I don't think there's anything. Everything I stole is from Samurai. Or United Cities affiliated factions at one point or another. Oh, hey, I could sell this. I got this from the, the lab. He won't buy illegal goods. Well, someone will. Take that. You can take that. You cannot take my sword. But a bunch of random crap I don't need to carry. Oh, and someone needs to get those boots. 90% stealth effects. Hmm. I guess we'll take them home. And then... Wing Wang can carry some food. That was not enough to sell off anything. And it would still be quite a risk. So I'm going to put that weight on someone else who can actually handle it. P is still at 12, that's fine. Out of trading range, get over here. And the fabrics, I need those. Still running at 11. Another thing you can do is put all your weight on one character and then just carry that character. <laughs> Now, I'm going this way because the fact that there's a skimmer over there tells you that the guards are still in trouble. If I go the other way, I have to fight new gate guards. And I'm already pretty beat up. I'd rather not do that. This is painfully slow. I'm gonna have to fight anything that aggroes me. Hello. Samurai, random dead samurai police that still has weapons. Oh, I just realized now, AP number one, that I misread your, your text. You said stacking bag. I thought you said stacking bug. That's my bad. But I did get all the loot in the end, so it worked out. That skimmer's outside. No problem for me, but it is a big problem if I have to surround it. AoE is a problem. So now, where am I going to go to offload this loot? Uh, I think my best bet is the way station. I'm also curious as to what is around my base right now. Slave traders, apparently. Well, I'm not going to take this vault. Uh, I'm not going to another United Cities city. Actually, I could do that. Uh, only minus 22. If I can restrain myself from killing any more fools, I'll be just fine. So let's go to Shobatai. 
and so off all my junk. And while I'm up there, assault Fort Mirage, see if they have anything worth taking. Or more specifically, anyone I need to kill to stop their freaking raids. Oh, and speaking of which, make sure. Of course you're starving. Oh. Oops. Uh, as soon as I warped over here, they decided to take everyone into slavery. That's not good. Cat. Oh, I am actually making dust switches now. That's good. Just take... No, they can have the chew sticks. <laughs> Knife. Oh, you guys, run. Everyone run. Wait, Garu. Because you're starving? Oh, encumbrance. Yeah, I forgot about that. You. Who's stronger? Cat, but not by much. And she's already carrying the majority of the weight. I'll make knife pick you up. That's not much better. I mean, I could leave. I could leave the guard behind. Here. Drop. Garu, protect me. You guys run away. Actually, I'm going to go through the acid rain. Run to the Black Desert City. Actually, that's a really bad idea because I built that wall. Which means I would have to swim through the acid lake. As much as I would like to make them swim through the acid lake, I don't want to go through it. So instead, I will make you run to the way station, or you can do stuff, I guess. Okay, I can only run at 20. 17, 16, this guy's at 22. He's the only one I have to take out. He'll separate himself for me. Conveniently. A, ranged. Gave you that for a reason. Stop shooting me in the arm. Vitals or legs. That's what I care about. That was terrible. You hit the other dude in the head. Accidental headshots don't count. Okay, first hit on the leg, that's good. Keep hitting different vitals and different people. I only care about this one dude. I can look away at someone else. I can check on my Garu if I can just get this one guy to slow down. There we go. Run. They did not loot you. I mean, they couldn't take the bag anyway, but... You know. What? All of you, follow. I think... Oh, mercenaries. Tempting, but I'll be fine. Let's actually make you stop. Infinite Wing Wang is dangerously far behind. It's actually higher than that. Over there somewhere? Ugh. Oh. 
I am not a slave. Do you get it yet? Go ahead and try me. Medic? No. You will not heal your friend who tried to take me as a slave. How do you like that? You just lost two limbs. Who else? That's what I thought. Leave me alone. Goddamn slavers. Believe me, they're on my list. They're going down. Bandit camps. Do not want to go through that. And speaking of which, I just walked through one. With the patrols. Stay together. Infinite Wing Wing has dialogue about taking out faction leaders. Feels empowering, don't it? Taking down the leader of the most deep-rooted faction in all the land. Not to spoil your celebration, but factions fall and rise like clouds grow and fade. Another will take Longin's place. Be it in your lifetime or beyond. And that was Burn replying, because of course it's the skeletons that have to get all philosophical. Guy, we're not doing too hot, but I think he's fine. Try for the skimmer. Because I don't want to waste my time on it. Hey. Uh, oh, let's not do this with Sparky. How about burn take one, beep take the other. I try to get them separated. It's funny how they bleed more from martial arts than from actual weapons. <laughs> What? Why are you not healing yourself? I know I interrupted you, but still you should have picked up on that. Okay, that's a whole lot of stuff coming this way. Hopefully they fight each other. Whoa, watch where I'm going. Go around this rock. Hey, that looks familiar. Oh yeah. I had a good time over here once. I was with my bedrock bottom start. This is about the furthest I've ever made it. These guys, oh, they were hiding under the sand. Okay, I should have seen them. That's my fault. I thought they just appeared out of nowhere. Wing Wang, take that one. Beep will handle the last one when he comes up. I swing around the back. Thank you. Time to celebrate, beep. I don't need the meat. So we carry on. No injuries, right? Oh, nothing serious. You can take care of that later. Anyway, the slave raid is done. I should go back and get everyone stowed. I do have a lot of stuff. It's, oh, wait a minute. The United Cities is considered allied, aren't they? Could I even sell my stuff here? Man, what a waste of time if I'm wrong. Oh, I'm already here. I'll find out shortly. 
barracks? Oh, there's a bar. Slave shop. General shop, that will work. Oh, shit. You're of the Traders Guild. I just clicked on him, and uh, that almost could have ended very poorly. How about this bakery? Make sure United Cities, good. 100% chance. Perfect. I want to get rid of some weights, uh, but you can't buy anything. All right, then I'm going to have to focus on getting rid of space. Oh, I can do both. They're selling really crappy heavy weapons. White quality Nodachi sells for twice as much as a blue quality horse chopper. So let's just sell as much space and weight as I can on one like that. We got the big backpack. Here it is. I might have UC bounties now. Oh, that's a good point. I should be more careful about that. The heavy jeets. That's definitely the most weight. Higher quality one and a lesser quality one. There we go. And then I want the stacking backpack because that has my food in it. Yeah, I have a 12,000 cat United Cities bounty on my main character. Uh, we're going to have to be quick about this. Go to the weapon shop. What's this one? Free traders? They aren't mad at me yet. What? Traders Guild? Crap! Well, at least it says it on the building. Machinists, there. Tech Hunters, good. I didn't think so many factions would be under one roof. Need that. He's not slowed down much. All right, I was working on Pia. Pia has all of these. Good. That just chopped off 45 weight. Very nice. Uh, let's focus on the other characters. You don't have much. If it wing wing has a freaking lot, but no one can afford it, that can actually be in here. Take that. Choose stick I don't care about. Crappy longsword, I don't care about. Drop. This was a mine as well. Shimmy things around so a little easier. So that's one character I don't have to look at anymore. 1400 for that one. There. What else I can do unless I buy something? Oh man, this is bad. This is really bad. Buy two fabrics. Is that considered stolen? No. Gonna stick all that stuff to Armor King or Scrapmaster. Yeah! They're about the only ones who can afford it. Normally I would go to a weapon trader, but the weapon trader is from the Trader's Guild. Is there even an armor in this town? There's a clothing shop. That's not going to do anything. 
farmers. I mean, Ranger Shop has some good money. That's oops. I'm betting on it. So I don't have time to stick around. I have to do this and run. I should have come here at night, if I'm being totally honest. Oh, I do need ammo, though. This is a good stop. I can make space for some more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no one's going to be able to buy seven Leviathan Pearls. Or how about these? These CPU units are 3,000 apiece. Chima sheets are only a thousand. Six thousand a piece on the freaking pearls. But I've already cleared up quite a bit. Oh, you remember what's in here? Ooh, Saki at plus fifty percent. <laughs> I don't really I don't really care at this point about the plus fifty percent. I just want to sell everything. So let's focus on... Actually, those armor plates are pretty heavy. Those are five apiece. I'll get rid of those. These are only one apiece. No big deal. Long swords, Naginatas. Sell pretty well, but aren't all that heavy. So I will hold on to those. I can still sell one pearl to this guy. About two pearls now? Yes. Infinite Wing Wang is up to 12 run speed. My slowest is at 11 now. That's a big deal when you're running away from people. I will be able to get some nice stuff for it, but what would I buy? I mean, I suppose I could buy Ed weapons, but I mean, I'm collecting Mei Tao's. Which I'm not using because... Attacking troublemakers. What's this dog? Please don't be me. Get outside. Okay, he turned around. I need to get out of here. And I think Shobatai... No, I know Shobatai has police. So I can't go there. Thank you very much for pointing that out, AP number one. Otherwise, I would have gone to Shobatai, and that would have ended poorly. I suppose while I'm here, let's stop. Do some quick healing. That's all I needed. Beep. Kill. Terminate. What do, what do? I mean, Fort Mirage would be a safe place to heal up after I kill everything in it. But I have to get by Shobatai to get there. I could be attacked by any patrol at any time. I honestly don't even care about the guard at this point. But I do want that backpack. Ugh. I could chill out in here. I do have I do have bedrolls. I could run to Drin. Or Drin's area. I think it's called Bast. This area's called Bast. There's some destroyed towns in there. I could chill out for a while. I don't know if they get cannibal raids, though. I know cannibals go by. I don't know if they raid it. But I can heal inside the buildings there. That's not going to help me sell stuff, though. There's not many characters that need healing. It's mostly just Beep. Which happens to be his left arm, which is kind of important. But I, I have enough 
with the splinting that I can use the left arm. And because of my armor, I won't take self damage with melee martial arts. So it's not a serious problem. Well, I'm, beep dying is not a problem right now. But if he loses that arm, I will personally feel that I have failed. The run will carry on, but I will personally feel that I have failed if I have cyber beep before the end of the game, before I kill everything off. Then, as like the sideshow, I can take all his limbs off and make super beep and then just show how freaky ridiculously powerful that is. Beep one shots the world. That'd be a fun compilation. <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, right, right. Where am I going to install all this stuff? I'm already at war with Holy Nation, so I can't even go there. Ocran Shield is now controlled by United Cities, so I can walk through it if I need to. I just can't stay there. Problem is, everything on the other side is Holy Nation. So all I can really do is go back where I came from, <laughs> try to get to the Black Desert City or the way station. I should put Cyber Beep and Crab Armor. I've never actually had Crab Armor. I've heard it's really good. Full Acid Protection as well, which would be good for me. You say to let him lose his limbs naturally through trial by combat to get stronger from his defeats. That's how you would normally do it, but I don't want him to lose any limbs ever. Not during the legitimate run. But again, that's just... I'm not satisfied with this much challenge. I want to do even better than that. That's just my fault. <laughs> that's, that's my fault. But hey, if I can pull it off, I get bragging rights, so there's always that. It was a really stupid idea to come up here. But I did sell off some weight. I'm running almost 50% faster now. Or like 40% faster. And honestly, I'm so close to Bass at this point. I might as well just go there and then just skim this edge all the way back down. Instead of walking straight down through the majority of patrols. Problem is that Holy Nation patrols all of this stuff too. And I really don't want to run into those groups. Because that's not... Oh, hey, it's... Holy Nation Patrol. It's like, no, it's literally a war party. You're talking about 40 units. That's really annoying. So as much as I would like to do that, that's the optimized scenario. The safest scenario is to go straight south, straight back where I came from. Unless I go far enough north that I can curve around to World's End, even pick up Sadneel, and then come back over to the Flotsam down to the Armor King. All of that I can handle easily. And these farms are actually dead. Only thing I'd have to worry about is Ocran's Fist, and there's a tower over here somewhere. That is Holy Nation. That tower. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I'm just trying to get rid of my loot safely, which the problem is getting out of the United Cities. They're not at war with me yet, but all my characters have bounties for them. So that's bad. That's I have another skimmer. Beep destroy. Yes, please attack it. And that's with a broken arm. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to cut straight through here. Rest up where I was talking about it. Get beat back in full fighting force in case anything goes wrong. I have plenty of food for it. 
Ooh, I took a hit. Freaking skimmers are everywhere. Oh, I walked into a nest. Um, screw it. Everyone fight. I don't need to micro it. Wait for everyone to heal. Good. Carry on. What race are Crumble John and Infinite Wing Wing? Might be able to run down into the Black Desert. No, they're both human. Greenlander. I could easily run down there with Beep or Pia. Pia is also Greenlander, but she's really fast. And she has some asset protection. Crumble John and Infinite Wing Wing are just too slow. Burn and Agnew could make it. Also Beep, because all of them are immune to acid. But I'm trying to keep everyone together here. Less Holy Nation patrols because they're down too high Inquisitors. That is actually true. It won't despawn any currently existing patrols, but it will prevent new ones from, from spawning. So they will die slowly by attrition. It's all the way down here, though. As for... Oh, man, that's a whole new nest again. If I just take them one-on-one. -on -one. There we go. I could be looting these guys, too. Their stuff sells pretty well. Case in point. These sell for 90 apiece. And you pick up six of them each. Ravages Hamlet. That's where I was going. Actually, no, it isn't. It's over here somewhere. You're pretty sure Valentina is lost in the desert somewhere in your game. It's been a long time since I've seen a faction leader get lost, because I've made a point of killing them every time I see them. So I don't know how that would work in your game. All I know is that this... Uh, where is it? Stack now belongs to the Shek Kingdom. And Ocran Shield now belongs to United Cities. And I did not personally assault either city. I only took out the leader when they attacked my outpost. Took out the leader, dumped him in acid, and made sure he died. Then ran over there and, oh, it's controlled by someone else now. Bast. That's where I was going. <laughs> There's a mod to give you 200 peeps. Oh, thank God. It's United Cities Prisoner Poll. I thought this was cannibal territory for a second. It's apparently United Cities. Uh, public building. That looks terrible, but... At least the camp beds are already set up. That's kind of handy. Beep, go heal. He's the only one who needs to. Well, Pia, might as well. And we will just fast forward that. I wish there was a third one in here. But they are already placed, so that's pretty handy. Let's remember that. Well, I remember there's a mod. I think it's called Conquest or something like that. But it's a whole series of mods that lets you take over. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot my other characters. Gary was starving to death, but for some reason he's awake. I picked up all my food? Yeah. Uh, if I make you guys follow, can you do that? Yes. You'd like an army of beeps and agnes. 
I wonder if they have special dialogue for talking to themselves. I mean, Beep already does talk to himself all the time. What was it talking about? Oh, yeah. The, uh, the takeover mod, conquest mod, whatever it's called. Oh, speaking of which, I need to get you out of the acid rain. Right, everyone's gone now, so you can just stand over here. And you'll be fine. The cat also has the medic job. So, knife goes stand over there. And cat just cancel, and you will naturally follow. Or just do that anyway. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> so, as part of the. Oh, God. Everyone get inside. Sparky has no bounty. He'll be fine. Keep getting interrupted. So, anyway. It lets you take over towns. But the way it does it is you have to take out certain NPCs for it to trigger. And since those NPCs don't exist for converting Bast, he had to make new NPCs. It's also wild dogs out here. Two of which actually live in Bast. One is called Dark Beep and one is called Evil Beep. And you have to take them out to, to control. As well as killing off the other leaders. Like the UC leader, which is over there somewhere. Long End, which is the Trader's Edge leader I just killed. And then you actually get everything. You get everything over here. By doing that. Oh, that's how you rest animals, by the way. You can't get them in bed normally, but you can pick them up and put them in. And they actually can't leave. You have to pick them up to get them out. But you can see hunger is reduced and healing is increased. And they even have a resting animation that doesn't line up correctly for some reason. I'm really annoyed that there isn't an actual animal bed that's just bigger that they can get in normally. But, you know, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, people keep talking about the, the crabbers and the reavers, and I've never even been over there. Not since they were at it, anyway. What was that? That might have been Sparky. Anyway, cat should be working. And the farm, good. Making more food for me. Ah, oh, crap. You happy now? Good. Animals eat so freaking much. Doggies are double. Garu, more than double. The skeleton bandits. Yeah. Ugh. Ow. That was a big pop. Well, the uh, Lord Mirage and Fort Mirage should be right over here. Not too hard to find, and it's a pretty small place. It's actually just one building. It's actually this building. So if I can take them out, it'll be pretty good. I think it would be a lot more interesting to have a playthrough where you actually have to fight through like each outpost in sequence instead of doing what I did, which is I attacked the weak ones first. I took out the, some farms, I took out some mines, and then eventually they attacked me and I was able to sort of take out their bigger cities without actually needing to do it, which is kind of disappointing. You would think you would be at war 
and you have to take out Ocarina's Shield to push forward. Then you can take out the Easy Farms. You can take out Narco's Trap and split around. Maybe don't go for Blister Hill right away. Maybe go down, take out Bad Teeth. More farms, more farms, stack, work back around, and on Blister Hill. Oh, there are cannibals here. That must be what all that combat was over the hill. Anyway, Beep is recovered. I'm going to send Beep on a little mission. See if I can find that thing. I have plenty of food to last through everyone else. Lord Mirage has a Y house? I always thought it was a storm house. It was a long time ago, though. Started at just, yeah. Started at Ocran Shield, ran through the rest of the territory. I really think it would be interesting, though, to kind of go through it properly. I mean, in war, you would go after the weak targets, of course. Take out the infrastructure and whatnot, even though Kenji doesn't simulate that. But also in war, you can't just run around willy nilly inside enemy lines. Oh, there's Shobatai. A little to the east from what I remembered. Let's try over here. Ooh, that was a big patrol. Yeah, assassination is pretty overpowered in terms of a large scale conflict like that. It is a White House, I'll be damned. And that's a lot more people than I thought it would be. But confirmed, it is run by the United Heroes League. Dude has minus two attack? What? Well, the turret has 55 damage. So I'll just put on my good armor. Let's see if I can make a mess of these fools. Yeah, I was just talking about that. Just that Kenshi doesn't actually simulate the advantage of economic warfare. Okay, now I'm inside. So some of my penalties will be offset by uh, the indoors bonus. But I would still rather be fighting outside. Actually, quick question. Is there a dust storm right now? Apparently not. That sucks. And I would love to be able to fight these guys without harming my dodge skill. But unfortunately... Oh, there is another... That's the third Lord Mirage. Is there another one? He's the only dude with an Odachi. Oh, wait, no. There's another one. With another Nodachi. And I think that's actually a chick. And that's a dude. Okay, that's weird. So, yeah, either there's a lot of Lord Mirages for some reason. <laughs> which I guess it kind of goes with the name. But, yeah, whatever. I should be fighting indoors, uh, because I have a melee bonus that is better than their weapon bonus. Why am I injured? Anyway, and that also means I don't have to worry about the crossbows. They are completely nullified if I'm fighting indoors. So I can go back to my better gear and one-shot everything, even better. I'm going to do that. And then re-equip when I go upstairs. Now I'm at 83. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are so screwed. <laughs> Remember, I have to make sure that the Lord Mirages actually die. 
Hopefully I can just like punch their chests out. Ouch. Minus 30 to the head is not good enough. Ouch, eight. Take about six damage a hit. I got shot while entering, but it shouldn't have done any damage. If it hit me in the chest, I have 33 harpoon resistance here and another 28 here. They only do 55 damage base. And they hit me in the head to do zero, which is, oh, it's 94 harpoon resistance. I guess it could be height advantage bonus. I don't think it would be that extreme though. Well, in any case, I am taking a lot of damage. So I'm gonna swap out at least the chest. I'm not too worried about my legs at the moment. Just punch who's ever closest to you, man. It's not that difficult. Whoa. Did you know you can cancel dodge animations? Really handy. Get this guy, he won't fight back. Good. Oh, ah, damn it. I just walked into two uh, crossbow bolts because they were already loaded. That is entirely my fault. I should not have gone outside. Can't. Just got my camera stuck. There we go. Ah! You can't cancel the recovery animations, though. One hit from KO. This dude's in martial arts. Oh, dude, you were in over your head. I think one guy managed to get outside. You're not getting away. Ouch. That guy, get him. <sighs> that little shuffle just kills me. You can just dodge that by angling it just right. Okay, heal up before I finish this off. Splints. You're the first Lord Mirage. The other one is also in yellow. There you are. You both need to die. But that can be. Oh, hello. I am not opposed to letting you guys do the work. I hate all y'all. Is Beep gonna solo everything? He will when it benefits me. I brought him here because he's really fast. I didn't have to bother waiting on everyone else. Oh, there is loot here. That's not very exciting. Someone is shooting at me from outside. I'm shooting at skimmers, apparently. I would normally be fine with that, but I do not want you alive. Definitely gave you an attack order, and you just got stuck on a post. Get him. All right, leave the wave. Welcome to the chat. It's good to hear. 
Uh, actually, episode 13 comes out tomorrow afternoon. And Lord Mirage has no bounty. And you're watching episode 15 at the moment. So you're a little bit ahead. <laughs> I should just check everyone and make sure there's only two Lord Mirages. Hey, who's that? Dead, that's you. Are these private? No, okay. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I don't have to wait so long. It won't heal the cut damage, and as long as I hit them in the same vital, they're dead. Oh, in the inventory. I didn't even check. Yes. Should I even bother taking away the swords? Wait, why didn't that work? Okay. Armor is crap. They only have 18 attack. Not gonna hit me anyway. And I'm not gonna sell it. It's only 300. Oh, and here's a fun trick. Uh, you can see some of these are stolen. Some of these are stolen from a certain person or a certain faction. You can dump all of these on the same character. Oh, it didn't work this time. It's weird. It worked for the Lord Mirage ones, though. We didn't work for those. Huh. Anyway, it stacks. These were two separate, and now one is full and one is little. Whew. Hopefully they actually get up when they recover. It'd be a pain if they try to stay playing dead. But this should hopefully be the end of their raids. Now he's wounded. Yes, you do owe me something. Oh, I hit him in the stomach! You get back up from it though. Only twenty seconds. Oh, don't get up at the same time. Playing dead. Is <laughs> is martial arts any good? Here, let me demonstrate. Dude just died. <laughs> That's that's my answer. Boom. Dude just died. That's my answer. Back to my running gear. And meet up with everyone else. Yes, MA martial arts, unarmed fighting. And I should actually get some a little more practice while I'm out here. Boom! Here. You, random dude. I don't even know what faction you're in. Dead. Skimmer. Oh, I hit two different limbs that time. Dead. Boom. Dead. <laughs> it was actually the second hit. The second hit alone was enough to take him out. 
and I'm running the wrong way. I do not have a donation link, no. If you insist, I could set one up. What about martial arts versus edge three weapons? Martial arts. Oh, uh, my stats. I'm at 77 strength, 84 dex, 64 martial arts, 68 dodge. And that is all modified by my equipment. And actually, let me do that. Oh, it's a minus 10 weather penalty. There we go. So with equipment bonuses, I'm actually at 70 martial arts, 78 indoors, and 74 dodge. I put the goggles on to cancel the dust storm effect. That's actually the only reason I have those. I get rid of the dust storm effect. It's a very, very good bonus to have. So MA64 greater than Katana Edge 369. Yes, it is. Uh, about the only thing that you would want to use the katana for instead is if you're facing off against multiple fast opponents. But that's because of my mods. If you aren't using uh, numeric superiority, then it, there's really no benefit <laughs> to using a weapon. But weapons, because they don't dodge, they can very quickly block from multiple different directions, which is very handy when you're being attacked with multiple combat slots. Instead of with martial arts, where you dodge away, and a lot of times you can just get stuck dodging forever. Because your enemies never give you an opening. Who's this guy? United Cities will leave him alone. Well, you have to earn it. You don't start out like that. And martial arts is like the epitome of Kenshi. It's like you have to earn it all the way. That's why I recommend start out with normal weapons, maybe even heavy weapons, before you get into it. Because you need strength, you need toughness, and dexterity is a big difference too, as I think it increases the speed. Oh yeah, don't take away the Bugmaster's sword. He used to be martial arts. Long, long ago when martial arts was initially implemented, that's when they opened up that that section of the map. He was martial arts. And yeah, he was pretty devastating, which is which is why they nerfed him by giving him one of the best weapons in the game. You can cheese it a bit with some training gear. Skip the first few levels of hell. Yeah, martial arts training, especially initially, is pretty bad. But if you really wanted to cheese it, I can show you how to do that. Yes, Beep. Beep is the hero of this run. He makes fools of everyone else. Can Sparky even walk outside? I didn't think so. Sparky getting a free meal. Oh, there's another retribution of God. And it's already on the way. Where did it spawn from? Please tell me Blister Hill. Oh, apparently not. Narcos Trap? That's a lot closer than my fighting force is. I'm up to only 12 run speed with all my loot. Ah! Oh. <sighs> okay, I have to get to that little blue mark.
they're practically halfway there from my location. I have no idea who the leader of that's going to be. You think they spawned from the ruin? I don't think so. I mean, it's possible. I haven't even gotten close to the thing to see what it is. But I don't think ruins have patrols. More importantly, I don't think they can be valid uh, assault locations. They spawn from thin air. That's quite possible, too. Off run speed's not enough. Everyone stop. Pia, I need your help. Where's the fastest you can run? You actually got heavier? That's a lot of crap in that bag. Whoa! Thank you, AP number one. That is some remarkable generosity. Yeah, uh, for anyone watching in the future, those subscription notifications coming up on screen those were all gifted by AP number one I know you can't see it in the chat so thank you thank you you certainly serve the shot out there and you even got a new symbol does that show up yes it does There's a little gift box next to your name now. You earned it, man. Let's see, this is a bunch of... P is my worst fighter. Worst direct fighter. But really good damage with that crossbow. You need to take weight off someone else. Oh, there's stuff in here, too. Fixed. Yeah, I can get everything set up tonight. Again, glad you can make it AP. And uh, thank you again for that generosity. I'm sure everyone else appreciates it as well. I appreciate, appreciate it as well. <laughs> so excited I can't even talk. Up to 13, that's not good enough. 14, not good enough. Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it on anyone. I'm not doing this to make money after all. 
but I do appreciate the support. Almost. Actually, that doesn't benefit me having that in there. I fill this with other stuff. I want to get those steel bars. That's 16 kilograms. Those swords do not need to be there. Oh, large backpack isn't going to stack it. Uh, two swords? That'll do it. That's a 14 kilogram shift. Nice, nice, nice. I'll put that in the bag. And I can take all this stuff out of the bag and condense even more. Seventeen run speed. Oh, I might actually make it now. P is not going to make it, but that wasn't the point. Okay, Crumble John, we need to get home. Pia and Beep are going to go on a trading run because they can easily make it down later. Beep is only coming around to uh, protect. That's it. <clears throat> Holy Nation moves slowly. Actually, they won't. They run pretty quickly, and they're basically going to sprint for it. But they do have to go through the Black Desert City. I'm counting on them getting slowed by the Acid Rain. Also, I have a little trap waiting for them that they might actually get stuck in this time. And Crumble John... 17 is fast enough to outrun skimmers. Not fast enough to outrun bandits. But I don't have any problem with bandits. So it's, it'll be fine. I'm going to watch Pia because she's in the most danger right now. Actually, she can run faster. She gives some weight to beep. Hold on a second. Pack is pretty light. I wish I could see which one is heavier. 179, 180. <laughs> really not that bad. Okay, now B is at 18, P is at 14. Well, that's quite a difference. Move some bandages in your inventory and slot something heavier in the bag. Uh, you're talking about the stacking pack, aren't you? Oh, these. There's nothing else that fits in that slot, though. Or these, they're stacked up to five. I mean, that's 10 kilograms right there. There's nothing else I could put on there to make a difference. Next time, bring a pack beast. I have a pack beast. I probably should have brought it. I wasn't planning on looting the entire town. But, you know, I wasn't planning on beating the entire town either. <laughs> That's kind of why I didn't bring the pack piece. Just don't run through the watchtower and we'll be fine.
Yeah, yeah, I didn't plan it out very well. See briefly my mod list. Uh, after I double check how everyone's doing here. See, they're up to normal speed now. My guys aren't even to Tengu's vault yet. It's going to be a pretty bad show. So the ones here that matter, Cement Test, you probably won't see that. It's actually called Project Poseidon. It's a pretty fun one. It lets you build in water, basically, in these really big platforms. This one is called Numeric Superiority. And it's it means that three people can attack you at once instead of one. It means that being outnumbered is actually a problem now, instead of just a series of one-on-one -on -one fights. Tame Beasties, I will not be using it. But it lets you recruit animals <clears throat> by knocking them out and dropping them in a cage, and then you talk to them and you recruit them. Scarier Spiders, this adds reskinned, pardon the pun, skin spiders. So they're skinned as iron spiders. It's they took various... Mod author was actually really creative about it. He used exclusively Kenshi assets from other robotic types and pieced them together, which looks really cool. And unfortunately, they are really damn dangerous. So we have to be careful with that. But Beep can finally kill them solo, so that's good. Racial diversity, this is an immersion mod. That means that, for instance, Hungry Bandits won't all be Greenlander anymore. If you're in Holy Nation territory, you'll get some Hive in there. You have the other bandit types, like dust bandits can have skeletons now. But, of course, you won't see any hungry bandits that have skeletons, because that doesn't make any sense. Quiver. This adds these. It's a quiver. It's a very small backpack. I can fit some stuff in there. But mostly it's supposed to be used for ammunition. I just think it looks really cool. Uh, Pocket Change, that's another immersion mod. Things like Dust Bandits, Guards, Samurai, whatever. They all have small amounts of money on them, which is good because they can actually spend that money uh, according to the game game code, so it makes sense. And things like Nobles and Merchants will have a lot more money than your basic Bandits. And Hungry Bandits, of course, will have nothing because they're hungry. This is a preference mod, no female muscle definition, because I don't want She-Hulks. I just think that looks silly. Holy Farm Overhaul, that makes the game a bit harder, at least when you're trying to kill off the Holy Nation, because it gives the Holy Nation farms guards. That's important because it keeps them from being overrun by River Raptors, and the farmers will actually work the farms now and produce products. Guard Posts, this lets you put down a little mat, and then you can assign characters to use the mat like you would any other machine. And then they will go stand there when they don't have anything else to do or when they get to that point in the job list. Very handy if you're trying to protect delicate characters. Because otherwise, let's say let's say you have a soldier. And you just you put him out where you want him to be. And he's like, this is your job to protect all of your friends. Great. Well, he gets in combat. He runs over to the other side, fights some animal, and then he just stands there. Okay, well, now he's not protecting your people. Or he goes to get some food. It's like, well, now he's inside. He's going to be the last person to get into combat. With this mod, you can make sure he's always where he needs to be. And he will stand there and wait for combat. Except for going to get food and coming back. Very handy. Very handy for automation. Extended camping. This lets you set down certain things that, um, that function like a temporary camp without setting up an actual base. It doesn't create an outpost location, so it can't trigger raids. Very handy. It's also great for role-playing, if you want to role-play as nomads or something. You can put down storages without getting raided. But of course, it, since it doesn't mark the map, you have to really know where it is. But that's on you. Imperator, this is a big one. Uh, it changes a whole bunch of things, like trade markups it changes the day night cycle research research especially takes a lot longer it took like three streams for sad neil to finish tech level five research which is why i left him up there for so long uh building things takes longer as well 
it's a great mod. You should look into it. Dark UI is why this is so nice and easy to read. Better mercenaries that changes the contracts. They still cost the same amount, as far as I know. But you can just say, like, oh, I want to hire you for 60 days if you have the money for it. And they'll just follow you around for 60 days. You don't have to keep refreshing it every couple of days, talking to him again. Beef is a custom mod, which I made so that I can recruit him in less than 15 seconds. It was great for starting this. So I didn't have to train up someone's athletics just to run to Mongrel, pick him up, and get the guy eaten by Fogman. I can do all that in 15 seconds. And this is actually on the workshop. Adventurer's Guild. This is another one. This adds two new outposts. One, actually, I didn't find the other one yet. It's over here. Uh, but the one I have actually been using is called Ishijuku. You can go there, you can trade there and everything else. But you can also go and talk to someone called the Adventure Headhunter. You can find some at way stations, you can find some at other major cities. And then you talk to them and you say, oh, you have to have an outpost for this to work properly. And they won't go to certain places, like where my base is, coincidentally. But you talk to them and you say, hey, I want some recruits. They ask you what race, and you tell them, you pay them a bunch of money, and they send you four recruits, level one, completely unskilled, completely unarmored, all the basic usual stuff from bar recruits. Yet, when they show up, they are heavily protected. They have all kinds of adventure dudes that are highly skilled to travel with. Make sure that animals don't pick them off. So, very expensive, but very handy, and it lets you have infinite recruits. Again, very expensive. But it's, it's handled nicely in a lore-friendly way. And these guys are in combat. You ran right through Blood Raiders. They're actually pretty slow. My slowest guy is 17. I'll be all right. I still don't know if I'm going to make it there in time, though. You're pretty sure they can attack more than one at a time anyway. That is not true. Uh, the developers recently changed it so that certain, certain individuals, namely animals can be attacked by more than one at a time, but individual characters are locked to one. Yeah. As if skin spiders weren't scary enough. Exactly. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Since they are reskinned skin spiders with modified stats, they will actually eat your character if you go unconscious. Even if you're alive. And the lore reason behind that is that they are... Uh, kind of like biomechanical. They actually need your nutrition to survive. In one of your save games, the mercenary recruit was bringing mercenary guild was bringing in recruits with around thirty stats with super OP. You've seen three or four guys attack at once with no mods. I don't know why. That's all I can say. It's been so long since I've played without it. I don't even know why that would happen. But I do know that animations can be tricked. Oh, that's a nest? Looks like a nest. Oh, shit! I am so close to the United Cities. It's right there. I don't have time for this. Pia, you need to stop. Beep trade. Give that back. Oh my god. That's one of the assaults. That's actually why I built my base. Because I need a base to be the target of that assault. I've been targeted by the 
the Igor Assault. He's the one who brings the the uh, Maytown Moon Cleaver. I now have... Where did he even go? Oh, there it is. It's all the way down there. I have a Holy Nation Retribution Assault and the Igor Assault coming at the same time. And I'm not even there. Pia, go sell stuff. Sad Neil, you can run at 19. He's not going to make it. And I wonder if I can get some. I don't even know what Tech 5 unlocks. It's been so long since I've done it. Wait them out and make them fight each other? They actually might fight each other if they get there at the same time. I only want Igor to die. He's the only one who needs to die. I need his sword. Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't I didn't split up yet. I need to give you my Maytel sword so I can go in storage. And I need to make sure it actually gets to storage. So let's take this sword. You can take that. You actually have a pretty good katana. Okay. Why are you still covered in blood? <laughs> Pia, get up here. Beep. You need to sprint. Dead sprint. 30 run speed. I wish I could do better than that, but I'm already at 0% encumbrance. And I'm not wearing any restrictive gear. You doubt Igor will die if it's just United Nations versus Holy Nations. United Cities versus Holy Nations. <sighs> Time for B to solo two massive armies. Well, that's not going to happen, but I can solo the leaders. I hope. I hope. All I can really do is just watch the map and see who gets there first. I'm betting it's going to be Holy Nation. Then my people. Then Beep. Then Igor. That's my bet. But I'm going to watch Pia. I know I'm being rather... No, 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 no. I'm not being greedy. I'm being loot efficient. I need to sell all this crap off, or at least just store the bags and run back. She's my fastest character. It's okay for her to be last. I have allies there? Are you talking about that green dot? That's been there. I'm pretty sure they're all dead. There's a random green dot at the reprogramming workshop. Uh, but yeah, supposedly I was supposed to get some new help. Oh yeah, the last Shinobi Thieves, not Shinobi Thieves, the last Flotsam Ninjas who came by actually got there with no legs. The entire group had no legs. When they arrived. Where did Beep go? He's already at Akron Shield. <laughs> Holy Nation of Souls in Black Desert City. Igor has really picked up the pace. Oh, Crumble John stopped. Crumble John, no! Come on, man. Don't get stuck on me. Especially not here. You just be disintegrated by acid clouds maybe this was the game's plan make me micro it so my people don't die I guess I can somewhat appreciate that I don't care about you people go die in an acid cloud Okay, you can run now. Oh man, these guys are fast. Um, Holy Nation has already arrived. 
These guys can run at 21. Tell you what, Sparky, do some work. Oh, you're going to be determined like that? Fine. Learn your lesson? I guess not, but you can't attack me now, so I don't care. Falcone is under attack! I need to find out who the leader is. I don't see any red. That's a normal high paladin. Yeah, they came through the acid against my base. You can see that everyone has a little bit of damage. No, I didn't hire mercs. But... I actually... Oh, here they are. This is the Flas Menendez. They came here for the last Holy Assault. And all of them showed up with broken legs. Or disintegrated legs, so they came through the acid. They're all healed up now from the acid rain, but they never even bothered to fight because, and that's just a random ass. And the head on the other side. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a different person. But it gets the imagination going. <laughs> Yeah, they came through the acid lands and they don't wear shoes. If they went through the river, they would have been damaged all the way across. So it's all acid. No, Holy Nation is already here and they're fine. They took the short way. Steal Black Desert for all their legs and turn this army into cyborgs. That's about the only way they would be helpful to me. I mean, they're not even a good distraction at this point. But yeah, it was all acid. And, uh... Pardon the noise, but I'm about to take a picture. This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Okay, well, no one's going to live through this, but what's really weird is I don't see the leader. Oh, here he is. Just a normal Inquisitor. Not even named. So, yeah, I'm going to keep getting assaults forever until I completely kill them off. <clears throat> it would be cool to robo to robo to size? Robots. Whoa. That's surprisingly uninteresting to zoom up on it. But there's a lot more detail to that than I thought. You see a little sparks coming down? Man, I'm so easily distracted. <clears throat> Everyone is dying. Uh, there's no way I can take out the war leader, so this is going to count as a loss. Yeah, no one can beat the Inquisitor. No one who's here. Oh, Pia made it. Anything I can train? Oh, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I'll take you off. Pia needs to storm my towel. I need to sell stuff, and I need to get both of you down. You can run at 19, so you can almost make it. Slow down by equipment. 14, sorry. Yeah, yeah, 14% from the legs. I can just take that off if I need to run. He's not going to make it there anyway, but I would like him to be down there. Because I'm running out of things for him to do here. 
he was initially part of the A team, so it's kind of disappointing to leave him sitting here. Oh yeah, Pia. Actually, come back in here for a second. I can sell all that crap later. That's all sell crap. That's so crap. And that's the stuff I actually need. Now you run at 34 again. So let's get you back down there. Actually, follow. Beep, you got stuck too? Come on, man. I expect better, better from you. Fine. I'm trying to go this way. Sparky's in combat. Could have Pia carry Sad Neil. That would actually be slower. Ooh, shit. It's nighttime. I can't actually see what I'm dodging. Sad Neil runs at 22 without armor. Woo! Game saving caused a bit of lag there. Okay, in the clear, you should be able to run now. Oh, I'm going to make it. Chromo John and everyone else made it too, but they're going to be in terrible shape. Okay, no one is in life-threatening condition. Where's the leader? He's in red. That's just the normal Inquisitor. Probably stuck in here somewhere. If I can just take out the leader, it'll count as a win. Not that I think that's going to make a difference in the long run. He might be in the tower. I don't know why he would be in the tower. But it ultimately doesn't make a difference. I just need to get there. Sparky, no! Oh, Sparky's fine. Pia, how far did you get? Both coming shortly. Retribution of God has ended, even though my people are... Okay, well, they all went down. They're standing now. I have to be very careful with this. Because the next assault is right there. I need to make sure that Beep doesn't get hurt. At least not significantly. He can draw aggro. He can solo. But I can't let him get outnumbered. And also, I would love if I can get these guys to fight the other dudes. I need someone with taunt to get these guys off my back. Oh, Flotsam. You aren't even good at getting their attention. How long am I going to have to run around these dudes? <laughs> I should just run around in circles. If I stop changing directions, it's going to be a lot safer. Oh, Sparky got back up. That sucks. <laughs> Everyone keeps getting back up because they think I'm in combat. They just keep taking unnecessary damage. Agnew's at minus 46. How much time do I need? Let's just put everyone on sneak and passive. Oh, Infinite Wing Wing is already on passive? Oops. Pia isn't even here yet. 
I'm not even to the desert yet. She's the farthest back to up. Okay. That'll be good for now. Crumble John still got up. Come on, man. I just want you to stop getting hurt. I'm on your side. Just give up. It's not going to work. Whoa. Almost got hit there. Yeah, that stealth thing didn't work. Taunt does not override stealth, by the way. I could try holding. See if that does anything. Wait, knife is standing? That's not good. Oh, hey, there's a solo target. I'll take you out. Normal Inquisitor. Ah. Ooh, not good. Get back to the roundy round. <laughs> oh, it's it's right here. Oh my god, that's a lot of people. Led by Igor. This is actually my first time seeing him. Oh, he doesn't have the Moon Cleaver anymore. He has a Desert Saber. Dude, he's freaking huge, though. Look at the size of his chest. No, I did not start with my bone dog. This is actually my second bone dog, both of which I've purchased. The first one died. The dust bandits. And yes, I made them pay. Uh, as far as what animals can be elder, I have had conflicting reports on that, and I haven't tested it myself. Once upon a time, the man in a dog start had a special dog. It wasn't actually a normal bone dog. It was a mountain bone dog. And those are the only ones who could become elder. Now that's no longer the case. So I don't know how it works. Oh, this guy has 100 attack and 90 defense. A hundred and nine toughness. Hundred strength. Jesus Christ, that's gonna hurt. I don't think I can take this guy on. Even with martial arts. No, martial arts would actually be worse. Because I hinder myself by wearing armor. I'd have to just pelt him from afar and try to you know, shoot him in the face because his head isn't protected. Don't get hit if you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but his attack is better than my dodge, even with all my buffs. His defense is better than my attack, even with all my buffs. I just got to hold off for a few more seconds. Yeah, I didn't think he was that bad. I knew he couldn't talk, though. At least not properly. Whoa! As soon as he showed up, I am now hostile to the Holy Nation, or to United Cities. Hereby wanted for the murder of Lord Long and of the Traitor's Guild. This is why I don't do politics. Surrender peacefully or face punishment of death. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I was just talking about. Kill! Yay! They are attacking each other. Okay, I'm gonna run away. 
<laughs> I'll fight this one dude who's following me. I didn't say I was going to do it fairly. Look at all that green. Uh, let's make sure I'm on passive. Go heal people. Oh, the guard who comes with a light. Right. It's not the best idea to heal this guy first. Yeah, he's fine. Let's get away from here. What's this? Traders Guild Samurai? Take him out. Ooh, Infinite Wing Wang. Medic. Beep caused some destruction. Keep taking dudes out. I don't want anyone to recover. Rip Holy Nation. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, God. Wait, why are you calling attack? You're just a grunt. I mean, he's now missing three limbs and still conscious. That won't last long, though. Um... Nice mohawk. Is surrendering actually an option? Well, I can run away and just let all my people die. Save beep. I mean, that would make everyone go home. Maybe. And yeah, yeah, rip holy nation. That's, that's not going to last very long. Where's the big guy? Skeleton Samurai, that's pretty rare. I want the big guy, there he is, to be taking out as much damage as possible. I mean, seriously, look at the size of that dude. Even his freaking pants are huge. Oh, Sparky's in trouble. Agnew's fine. Pia's not even here yet. They're both... You stop running anyway. Why? Why does that happen? Oh, and he stopped an acid rain. This is perfect. Infinite wing wing. Everyone's fighting and everyone's in okay shape considering their armor. I need to be really careful with beep. As long as I'm soloing, I'll be fine. As long as I'm soloing, I'll be fine. Say it like I mean it. We believe in you, be Well, God. Thankfully, that was the right arm. They might be better off not coming. Correct. How fast are you, man? 20? Well, just keep running until you fight someone else, I guess. Oh, look, Holy Nation. Come over here, please. Looks like this guy's alone. Yeah. Not for long. Yep, too slow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even have a ranger to cheese this. Chromogen is down for eight seconds. I hope he stays down longer. Pia. Pia, run. It's weird. It says she's normal. I tell her to move, and it says acid rain. It keeps flipping back and forth, like she's right on the border. Hey, what's that? Where's that light source? Everyone's lit up from behind. I guess it might be my lamps. That might be the last paladin. Because <laughs> everyone's looking at him. <laughs> if everyone in my squad actually died, is the run over? No, it's not. Even if Beep dies, the run is not over. As long as I have one character, even if it's Sparky, the run will carry on. I mean, that's 
technically unwinnable at that point since Sparky couldn't actually collect any more swords. But I would keep going and try to do as much as I could. That one guy's really fast. That works to my advantage. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Stop it. There we go. This is why I expect to be fast. Because I want that first hit. Get this guy in the back. That was interesting. I dodged that and he canceled the attack. Huh. Oh wait, you're holy nation? I want you to get up. I'm thinking about healing Holy Nation at this point. Get this guy. Ooh, that's the big one. If I get hit at all, it's not worth the attack. And I'm never going to get anything off 4 and 1. Who's this guy? Not doing anything? Ooh, Holy Nation just got up. Okay, this is my chance. I need to get them to split off. need to get them to split off. There we go, down to... Well, they're actually pretty determined at this point. It's almost like someone pissed them off. Um. Oh, that's Holy Nation. That's Infinite Wing Wing. My people are back up. Okay, help them. Even if I get hit, it's worth it. This time. Nope. And everyone's down again. Sad Neil. Sad Neil. When? Are you even running? No, you stopped too. That's great. Probably for the best. <laughs> Someone healed up Sparky. I don't know when that happened. <sighs> you know, I made that turret for this raid. I'm like, I know he's going to show up in armor. I should build a turret that can punch through that armor. That'd be great. It's a great plan. Who's the big guy now? I'm not afraid of getting cheesy strikes. Oh, he's one of the guys chasing me. That's great. They can run at 25? This dude can run at 25 in full plate armor? <sighs> What's really bothering me is the saber. If that was a moon cleaver, I might actually have a chance. But that saber is way too fast. If he even starts to swing it, I get hit. What's this now? More samurai. Uh, that guy's actually just floating in air, unconscious. Wait. Are you the fastest one? Could I get you alone just by outrunning everyone else? That's a really good idea. I mean, I don't have a crossbow, so I can't cheese it like that. But if I have to take you out one at a time, I will. It's great training, too. Run far enough away and they get distracted. This is why I have them on passive. I can just make them stop. Then aggro from really far away. You pull only one dude. Boom, boom. Done. 
get the next guy, and don't aggro everyone else. Oh, no. I need you to attack me. I need you to attack me. Someone, please. Oh, my people are back up. That's why. That's why you're upset. It's great to watch if you aren't the person getting eye gored. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I, I appreciate that. Whoa. Yeah, Igor is super OP. One of the few characters who gets over 100. I actually dodged that, but I dodged it so fast I got hit. <laughs> That's when martial arts goes wrong. It happens. No, I don't want him to go away. I mean, yeah, uh, it'd be good for my people to stay alive, but I'd rather... I'm willing to take another loss if I can take out Igor now. Because I have no idea when he's going to come back. They might just keep coming back forever until I take the dude out. Which, I mean... That's not exactly better. And thankfully, he never got a single hit off on my people. I would have known because I would have died instantly. Which is why I don't want him to come back. This is a situation that can at least partially control. I was going to say I'm really sneaky and it didn't work. Um, I don't even know where these guys are running off to at this point. Whoa, well, I got stuck. Burn, stop it. Sneak. Okay, are you? KO you. KO you. You. Zero percent chance. <laughs> yeah, you know who that is. How long are these guys down for anyway? Two minutes. careful not to walk in front of him and also I don't want people to walk up behind me either whoa shit <laughs> really scared me I guess he's going for crumble John hopefully he goes down before Igor gets there why'd you stop oh medic great Oh, remember, I only have to take him out once. I can take away his weapon and drop him in acid. I really don't want to lose him either. Why are you so fast? Bonk. I should have actually attacked that guy. He was nice and alone. Like this guy, he's already injured. Make short work of you before Igor kills me. Whoa! This was a failure. Okay, burn. Ooh. His chest is the lowest. His head is completely unprotected. Burn could die if I did this. Who are you fighting? Oh, you're fighting everyone. Okay, keep doing that. Follow him home and bring the assault to him. I don't... He doesn't actually exist until the assault is sent out. I have no idea where he calls home. Nope. Whew. See how much faster he swings than the other dude? He's actually using a heavier weapon. 
Oh my god, I hit him on accident. And since his attack skill is so much higher than mine, he will attack me more often than not. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Wait, that's it? You did only 23 damage to my stomach? I'm not even wearing my good armor. Forty four percent cut resist with sixty percent efficiency. He wouldn't one shot me. Is that because of my crazy toughness? Still, I mean his attacks would universally hinder me. I need to stop running away when it's actually a successful dodge. That's not a successful dodge. Oh you fucker. And I need that leg. I need that to dodge. He hit me in the middle of my combo. That's not how that's supposed to work. Ha. There, right in your leg. Ow! My right arm is only covered by um, Assassin's Rags. Who's that? Following leader. Ugh. Yeah, here come all his friends. Yeah, Beep really needs his legs, because if he loses a freaking leg, even just going below zero, I can't dodge. I can't, like, actually dodge, and I can't fake dodge like I'm doing now. And here's everyone. So I need to make sure I don't get hit in the legs. Wait, Burn is awake. He's doing medic and robotics. Since he has medic first. Oh man. Wing Wing is in bad shape. Oh, he was doing it from the floor. No wonder he wasn't in combat. I'll keep him busy for a while. He's still healing himself first. That's very selfish, dude. This is the weapon I need to take down the Holy Nation. I do need a crossbow. That would have been a good idea. I'm getting a little tired of kiting, though. Nope. I'm counting you, Burn. Save everyone. Oh, he doesn't have medical. That would be why. Cat has one medical. I don't have to do. Here. Give that to Burn. Stop what you're doing and go heal some fools. Good, he's a medic now. Hold on a second. I just broke combat. Who's the weaker one? Both broken legs. I'll stealth KO the weaker one and real KO the good one. So I want you out of the fight longer than two minutes. I mean, if I could keep track of these guys... Ooh, that's not good. Oh, they're leaving. There, get rid of that so that my guys can do that. Oh, this is such a bad idea. I should go back in bed.
This is why I train assassination, by the way. It's so convenient when they walk in a line like this. <laughs> if I could actually get him to rebirth, that would be a great idea. But notice that these guys don't have any... Oh, 84% only? Oh, wait, that's... That's really going to suck if I fail. Okay. They don't actually have any acid resistance. So, I don't know why. But if I manage to get them over there, I'm in a very good spot. I can just lure him into some acid water. Also note that they're going to get a lot faster as I get closer to the front. It's not going to be this easy all the time. I used to do this with Nation all the time. See? Oh, they're sprinting. Good luck stealth KOing when they're sprinting. But at least the people who I already knocked out will be fairly far behind. Do it! Let's get this guy. Yes! One more. One more and he's alone. Of course, everyone who gets back up will come to help. Oh, Igor would be immune to acid. That was my plan to kill him off. He might actually be harder to kill if I take away his sword. <sighs> Why is he over there? Where are all these guys? Samurai conscript? Damn, dude, he's fast. Of course, I'm in still. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was a mistake. <laughs> run. Run. Stop. Leave the animation. Run. <laughs> Could cage him and train? Nope. Um, I'm going to read the rest of that sentence. That is against my rules. Normally, I would do that. And there's only the one dude here. I bet I could manage this. It, oh! God damn it. That was my fault. I brought up the contextual menu. I was not meant to. Dodge. They both attacked? Maybe. Yes. Oops. Should not have interrupted that. Stop it. More people coming to help. I was not prepared for this. As evidenced, I suppose. Okay, this guy's one one hit away. his leg instead. Ah. Well, on the bright side, if he knocks me out, he's just going to leave me here. These guys are trying to predict my running, which is really annoying because I'm trying to get them separated. Yeah, everyone's getting back up. It's something I can do about it now. I <laughs> just keep trickling in. <laughs> I run out my luck. The only thing I can do is hope... See, they're all running away again. The only thing I can do is hope that they stay separated. But since he's the leader, they should actually be focusing on him.
This was my plan. Get them separated like that. But if I dodge, I lose all the time I had. Oh! Big hit to the chest. Bummer. At least he's walking now. I mean... Heal? Oh, God. I wanted him to stay down. That's my bad. I'm trying to keep him in my vision. Having a damaged chest does actually hurt my my uh, ooh, attack. I suppose I gotta clear a little room for myself. Heal. I would prefer if they both attacked at the same time, but I can make it work. Why are you following me now? You are totally fine with me beating up on your friends a minute ago. Oh. I thought that was the single slash. Well, I was just going to say they just split up again, but nope. Not for very long. Guess I should take out you guys. On the bright side, this is great training for killing Igor. There he is. I will do it one flying ninja kick at a time if I have to. Oh, hey, look at you. Zip. I need to leave at least one guy alive so I can track this guy down again. <laughs> Not that I should be thinking that far ahead. That dude's on martial arts. I don't know why. Oh, a little too early there. No, no. That's getting greedy. Yes! That was way too far away. Why'd you even dodge that? Greedy. They all swung? Alright, take it. Ah. If you're wondering how I get them to attack, it's by hitting the R key. If you want to swing, here's an example. So I can run around in a circle and they'll only sometimes attack, but run by them, hit R, they all swing. Because for that, they're trying to predict where you are, try to get in front and attack you. Which is why if you're running really, really fast, and then something like a beak thing is after you, They'll actually run in front of you and then start their attack. Because they're trying to predict it to hit you while you're running. You can just zigzag and dodge them forever. Because their attacks are so slow. But what happens when you hit R, that's the stop key. It's the reset key. So if I click over here, let my character run and hit R, he stops running. For that fraction of a second, he thought, oh, he's going to be right there at the end of the swing of my sword. When I'm done with that animation... My enemy will be here and will get hit. And then I run away. He just swung and hit empty air. I didn't even stop long enough to cancel my 
momentum fully. Just like beep. 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 And they attack. And if I time it right, I get a counterattack. R is the reset key, remember that. That is the fast way of doing uh, crossbow kiting, but you can actually melee kite if you've practiced it. Does he have a broken arm? Yes, he does. I thought he was just really excited for some reason. Bink. Everyone attacked. No one win. So the reason I do that, it's handy if you can get everyone to swing, but it's actually better if you can get all but one to swing. And that's going to be really hard to show you. But basically, the idea is you get them in a group, hit R, and then see like this guy wasn't swinging. He's going to run at me at full speed. I can run over here and try to solo him, but he gets to swing first, so it doesn't work. Now try to solo him. And I failed the dodge. That was all on RNG, unfortunately. I would have normally made that dodge. I mean the actual normal character dodge, not uh, what I've been doing. And this is why I left them alive. Just kidding. <laughs> I can't follow them, which is really annoying. I'm trying to find Igor. How about all these dudes? Oh, look, there he is. So I'll just follow the path of destruction, I suppose. Of course, if I start combat, uh, they're going to come back after me. Oh, that's all my fault. Even that dude with a lost arm is still a threat to me. Because if I get hit just once in the chest, no matter how little damage, even if it's zero, I still get knocked out. Yeah, for whatever reason, Igor is just chilling. But it's going to be a huge waste of time if I have to get knocked out again. Oh, there they are. Oh, he's walking my way. And I've already aggroed a dude, so I'm just going to wait here for him to get to me. Hopefully he's the only one who makes it that far. All I need is a few seconds to kill an enemy. So, he was so kind as to bring himself over here, and I didn't freaking dodge it. Thankfully, it didn't hit me in the chest. Oh, God. Why is it so bright here? Where even am I right now? I suppose I could lead them to the acid. Why are you walking this way? He was walking in that... Oh, he was walking back to my outpost. That's not good. Uh, do I like the Assassin's Race from Martial Arts? Yes, I do. I'm actually currently using it. Plus 6 Martial Arts, plus 20% Dodge. It also gives a Dexterity bonus, 
and 100% fist protection. Very, very handy. Uh, the only negative to it is it's really, really bad coverage. The resistances actually aren't that bad, but it, it covers practically nothing. Well, I have this. The best undershirt that a hive can wear. Black and, chi black and chain hive shirt. The equivalent of black and chain mail, except it doesn't cover the arms at all in exchange for less weight. So you have a 10% dodge penalty here, 10% dexterity penalty, 3% combat speed. All of that is more than made up for here. Even the stealth. 20% stealth, I get 10% from this. So it's not a problem. Uh, the biggest problem is actually the lack of arm coverage, since I rely on my arms to deal damage, just like everyone else. I can't use some of the fancier skills if I have a busted arm, which makes it really annoying that I can't cover that with armor. It has 100% on the right arm. Turns out that's actually the lowest one, lowest probability to get hit. And with martial arts, you mostly use the left arm, which isn't covered at all. So that is a problem, which is why I have the black plate jacket. That unfortunately will not help me now, though, because I'm already one hit from KO no matter how little damage I take. So I might as well have the increased dodge chance. Yeah, Assassin's Rags don't even bother with Masterwork. Don't even bother. Just get the cheapest one you can. You're after the skills, not the armor. You have to rely on your undershirt. The only reason I bothered with this is because I had so much money I didn't know what to do with it. Assassin's Rags are great. That plus 8 melee attack, this is a freaking awesome piece of armor to put on a noob. Give them this, give them an iron stick, and they'll do just fine. Without this, they won't even be able to hit Hungry Bandits. They get hit in the chest a lot? Yes, that is actually the most likely place to get hit on every character, which is why the shirt slot exists. One of the big reasons, as well as the not being able to protect your head part, of why skeletons and hive soldiers aren't actually all that great. They killed a skimmer for me. Oh yes, Ginger King, I can I can see that now. I'm not sure if it went up on the stream though. Thank you for that. It's also good to see that other people are streaming, Kenji. Ooh, these are sergeants. And a captain. It kind of figures, actually, that they would be the ones left. That and Igor himself. Dude, so fast I can barely even micro it. Well, if I am this close to my base, I could try to draw them to my acid pool. I have no idea how fast these guys swim, though. I don't really want to walk them by all my recovering people either. The trick, they can't attack or navigate to someone. Well, they can't navigate to someone who's swimming because they can't attack someone who's swimming. Animals can, which is why they follow you through the water. People can't. So you have to be somewhere where they can pathfind to you, but not somewhere where they don't have to walk through the water. Which means this pool of water is completely useless. Unless I can skim around fast enough to this edge here that they think that swimming through it is the faster option. And even then, they're going to take so little damage that it's not worth the effort. The best I could hope for is that they get separated. But over here, I actually built walls for that. So if I could get them that far without 
Wait, how is everyone? Crumble John minus 28. Burn is fine. Agnew is not preparing for some reason. Do that. Burn should have healed you up. Both you guys are in pretty bad shape. Pia isn't actually here, and Sparky would die in one hit. So... Let's do it then. Oh, recovery coma. Ew. Okay. Pick him up. Beep run here. Watching Beep's screen here to make sure he's still on move order. Otherwise, that is not going to end well. I also want to make sure he stays in combat. Get everyone inside. Put down. He's already on passive. That's good. Burn. I need you. Agnew. There you are. Oh, I'm already here. Oh, man. That was fast. You close. Burn. Sixty-two defense against a hundred attack. No head armor at all. Thankfully, that is a saber. It's not super effective against robots. Uh, my best weapon against this guy is actually on infinite wing wing at the moment. That is not the point. Burn is going to be a distraction. Get his attention, block, and stay alive as long as you can. Agnew is going to go distract these guys. Bear in mind, Agnew... Oh, I have the smugglers here, too. Maybe they'll help me out. Nice. Ouch. Oh, I do have farming and crafting, actually. I have resource production, I have farms over here, I have a cooking station inside. But I'm not going to bother crafting anything because I have so much money in terms of armor. Um, Burn's holding up pretty well, actually. So, Agnew, get this guy. There was another one. Wait, a samurai heavy? You weren't part of that group. Also make sure Pia... Ah, oh, crap. Pia's wasting away in acid rain at the moment. Okay, everyone else is going that way, so I'm going to swing around. I don't know where the other two dudes went, but I'm just going to do what I came here for. Work on Igor. Oof. you got to watch those side swings. They have deceptively wide AoE. Oh, here we go. Take this dude out. Take that dude out. Pretty sure you're not mad at me for thievery. I really do hate that long dodge. I'm running out of time, burn. Burns down. Thieving Hellion. That is an insult to Hellions. Oof, that was a good dodge. Please kill him. Please kill him. No time. Agnew, how you doing, buddy? Fine, I guess. 
It runs fine. Uh, Crumble John actually has some really good armor, so I'm going to get him in on this. But only him. Everyone else is screwed. Yikes. Crumble John. Block. Get the big guy. Whew. Anyway, uh, the point of this single building is there's a big turret at the top of it. A Mark II harpoon turret with light. Which is actually the only reason I bothered with power. That's what the tower's for. I actually built it for this raid. But... Yeah. They kind of came when I didn't have anyone here. And I actually got two raids at once. One being Holy Retribution, and one being this freak of nature. Yeah, the Heavy probably woke up. He might have been... I'm thinking he was playing dead because he said there was enemies around, thought there were enemies around. And then when allies came that are in combat, he got back up. That's what I assume. That's pretty common, like this guy here. If another Holy Nation guy gets up, he's going to get up. How come I aren't, I'm not disarming the guys at KO for a second? I was actually doing that when I took out a Holy Nation city. I collected all their swords so they wouldn't hurt me again. But since this is actually my base, I can heal right here. Uh, one, it's a good training opportunity. And two, I got so completely wasted by these people. I couldn't bother to do it with my one character who can actually fight. I was more interested in microwing the combat. And yeah, uh, this guy is at 109 toughness. 100 attack, actually penalized by 8 from his armor. Uh, also, probably the weapon. Sabers are typically defense-focused. Defense, 90. Strength, 100. 109 toughness. Dude hits hard, but more importantly, he's really, really fast with that weapon. And tanky as all hell. And where's my mod list? I'm just going to go through this really quickly because I just answered this a few minutes ago. Uh, but the important ones, this one is called Numeric Superiority. It means that three enemies can attack you once instead of one. Very important for being outnumbered. Scarier Spiders add some... Uh, it's reskinned skin spiders. So they have iron metal parts, all sourced from other enemies, all, other robotic enemies, all pieced together by a very creative developer. And they will eat the dead... And the unconscious, just like normal skin spiders do. And they are really dangerous. Really dangerous. Uh, racial diversity, that's for immersion. Pocket change, quiver, all for immersion. Holy from overhaul makes the farms harder to kill, which is really important for this run. Guard post, really handy. It lets you put down this little mat. And you can assign people to use the mat just like any other machine as part of their job list. And when they get down to that point in the job list, they'll just go stand there. It's as simple as that. So then when someone attacks, you already know where your defenders are. They're not over there from fighting something else or over there from getting food. They are where you need them to defend something, like your gate or next to your farm to protect your inexperienced fighters. Extended camping lets you put down uh, temporary stuff. It doesn't need to be temporary, but that's the point. Things like tents, uh, basic walls and structures, even storage, that does not create an outpost, so you don't get raided. Very cool for a Vagabond uh, lifestyle roleplay. Very cool. I wish I'd used more of it. It would have been quite handy. Although it would also be quite difficult to find your outpost because it doesn't mark the map. Imperator. Imperator. This is a big one. It changes all kinds of things, like uh, trade markups. It changes... Day night cycles. Building takes longer. Research, especially later tiers, will take longer. Very important for stretching out the game time. It's a part of the challenge. Dark UI is why this is so nice and fancy. Better mercenaries, it's just a quality of life mod. You can hire them for much longer instead of the usual two days. You have to talk to them again two days later. I guess rid of that whole hassle. If you have the money for it, you can hire them for like a year. This is a personal mod. 
that was important for this run, so I can start with Beep. Adventurer's Guild adds two new towns, and if you have a base, you can talk to certain people called Adventure Headhunters. You can find them in major towns, especially uh, in the bars. You can also find them in the special towns. There's one here, Ishijuku, and there's one all the way up here. I think it's this one called Fort. So you talk to them, and you, they ask you, hey, what race do you want? And you tell them, and they send, after you pay a whole bunch of money, of course, they send you four recruits of that race, including skeletons. You can send skeletons if you want. Then you talk to them individually, and you can hire them. The trick is, they actually get sent to your outpost, and they walk, won't walk through certain areas. Like They won't walk through the Deadlands, and uh, the Ashlands, I forget another one. So if you put your base in there, it's not going to happen. But they get sent out there with a seriously good squad. They are totally protected. You don't have to worry about recruits being destroyed by anything, and they're delivered straight to your base. And they are your normal level one recruits. Like no equipment, no skills, no anything. Just like if you were hiring someone from a bar. Except you have to pay a lot more for it in exchange for being able to hire specific races infinitely. It's a very neat lore friendly way of uh, extending your capabilities so it's a very quick rundown of the things that actually matter for this run and actually i'm going to quickly go over my challenge run as well i've had three casualties so far one of which was today no stealing, can only sell loot. Loot defined as anything you get from an enemy or from a location. Not like sneaking into a shop and stealing something. But if you kill the people guarding the shop, you can take whatever you want. No arena training. Beep solo until the first goal, which obviously I handled already. Unique recruits only. That lowers the, the available pool of people. I can't just recruit like 20 people and train all of them. It makes things super easy. It means the people I get, I actually have to care for. And it also keeps the conversations inter interesting. This unique characters have a tendency to have unique dialogue. Now my goal... Jesus. My goals are twofold. Collector, I have to collect the unique weapons. That's all of the May Taos. I'm talking about the May Taos there. Although I'm considering going after the other unique named weapons. Namely, there's Bull's Cleaver. Not a Maytel, though, so there's no point as far as I'm concerned. As long as I get the normal cleaver, I'll be happy. And Conqueror, Destabilize, and End All Empires. I'm deciding to do both at once because I've never done either, and I couldn't do it until all of the map was completed. I actually started this before 1.0 release. It's been going for a while now. But since most of the faction leaders can hold the May Towers anyway, it's like, screw it. I'll just do everything all at once. Nice and efficient. Unfortunately, I didn't do things in the most efficient way. I kind of pissed off everyone, which I wasn't planning to do yet. But some unforeseen things happened. And I tried to make the best of those situations. Not exactly for the best of my run all the time. Well, they're supposed to be unique. I have I have heard that certain enemies in the Ashlands can on rare occasion have Maytau. But you know, the entire idea behind them is that they are rare. So as long as I get one of each, I'll consider it collected. Are you both with broken legs? Alright, then let's get the closer one. Normally I'll get the faster one, but ah! Make you attack. Take you out. Faster, please. Who's that? Can I get you guys to help me? And Chromadon is unconscious, of course. Whoa! Don't go in there! Oh, he's he's not going in there. He's fighting Burn. That's fine. Burn. Be a good distraction for me, will you? 
That was 21 damage to the stomach. And he hit to the chest. He's down. You got Maytel from an armory? You shouldn't. You should only get Edge from an armory. Edge 3 is not Maytel. Whoa, shit. Oh, good. I made the right choice there. If I clicked anywhere else, I would have gotten hit. I totally thought you had the aggro there, man. Okay. Let's try to sneak in there and get that hit. Dude is angry. Oh, man. Ooh. Leg hits are bad. Leg hits are bad. He's down. Okay, he found someone else to whack on for a bit. That won't last long, though. These guys are even worse than burn. Oh, no. You can fight people like the Bug Master. Mole isn't that difficult. Uh, actually, I got two from the same location. That's, I'm not going to spoil it, though. It's in my run if you want to see it. But that fight wasn't actually too bad. It was only such a problem because I brought so few people to it. Ah, why do you do that? I don't know why, but he's especially prone to just canceling his animations. Which is really dangerous. Oh, Agnew. Oh, he's fine. Okay. Block, please. With the fucking... With a small jeet? Anyway, uh, some of the bosses are really easy. One of them that has a Maytel, for instance, is the Ninja Tower. Dust King doesn't, but the Ninja Tower does. They're actually really easy to take out. That was my first one. Valentina, yeah... Yeah, that's a pretty tough fight. Your caravan just got nuked by those bandits. <laughs> well, this guy, if it makes you feel better, this guy and his little, or I guess rather large army, nuked an entire Holy Nation retribution assault. So that should tell you how far along they were. The corpses are still here. <laughs> He's still in a recovery coma from like two hours ago. <sighs> Agnew is 78 defense. This is not going to last. Burns in bad shape. Do I even have a robotics kit? No. I did it again. Stop that. Yes. Two hits. Two hits. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I've never seen someone so consistently cancel their animation like that. Can Knife hop on the Harpoon turret? Only if I want him to die. I'm trying to keep people from aggro. And also, Knife is unconscious, so no. I can put Infinite Wingman up there, though. Who is terrible at turrets. He would just as likely shoot Beep with a very powerful turret. <laughs> That's a bad idea. You moved to the Ocran area, and River Raptors kept stealing your farm stuff. People starved to death. You should never really... F Starve to death in this game, unless you are purposefully limiting yourself, like I am known to. They won't break in unless they draw aggro. Correct, but they will probably draw aggro. And he's actually wearing armor that is very effective against crossbows, and I am not. Oh, Chromogon just got up. Oh, that's not terribly good. 
anyway, yeah, since I don't have anyone training crossbows right now, if I get hit by that, it's really going to hurt. Ow! That was my fault. I totally screwed that one up. Oh, burn is up. Grumblejohn down from the head. He's running away again. I might just have to wait for him to come back. Actually, go in, everyone. Wait, burn is on it? All right, let Burn do it. Beep needs to sleep. I wonder if he shows up on a, as the red dot. Whoa, why is Cat in combat? Random Samurai is still here? That's the missing sergeant, by the way. Oh, you turned up your hunger. That would be why. Grumble John. Rex and Fools. How did Burn get knocked out? Go help your friends. Medic. Don't make me sick beep on you. One way, way, you can take out one dude. You have some of the best armor in the game. You actually do. And you've been to a healing bed, and he hasn't. You can do this. Also, you have armor piercing. Come on. His weapon is literally less effective against armor. <laughs> That's a holy nation, dude. As long as they all retreat, I'm fine. I mean, I can take him out with ease with, with beep. That's not the point. Completely lost his left arm. Still wrecking me. Okay, I'm hoping one of those red dots is the guy I'm looking for. Okay, that's apparently sad, Neil. I thought it was the other guy. And Pia, come on down. And don't get stuck. <sighs> what? <laughs> Ah, damn you, Pia. I got stuck in acid rain again. And so did Adnew. It's not Agnew. It's Adnew. Not that it matters for him. Can you follow at least? Good. And I'll do this by hand. This is the third time I've done this, by the way. My run speed is down to 25 from Acid Rain. Come on. That's like a mini game. Hey, bro, we put Gwent in our game. He's like, yeah, well, we put ping pong. 
human thing on. And if you fail, you turn into human bean juice. Okay, that should be far enough. Are you happy? I hope so. You can kind of buy the hub already, so there's that. Okay, beep is full health. I'm out of food. Wait, someone has food. Pia. Who had it? Pia has food, but I thought it was someone else. I'll say ate through all of it already. Oh, Garu has some. Okay, let's go trade with you. He also has all the dust switches, apparently. Put those back. Oh, big thing nests. Yeah, they make a lot of money. A lot, a lot of money. What is that? What is that dot? Beast traders. Okay. I'm going to run for this red dot and hope that it's the big bad guy because he's alone now. I might actually be able to do something. No. Random sim. Oh, wait, who's this? More samurai, but not the ones I'm looking for. Would be good training, though. Another red dot. Beast traders arrived. I really don't care. It's over there now. Hmm. Ooh, I wonder where all these crippled guys came from. Betcha they came from the acid. You know what? Screw you guys. I'm gonna go fight this one. Where did that even go? If anyone asks why you're taking the long, painful road of martial arts, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> Dude just lost every limb he had. Three were in the air at the same time. And this is the guy who can't land a single hit. Hey, wait a minute. What's Elite Hunter Assault? United Cities. Go figure. I thought that would come before the big one. Coming from Trader's Edge again. Hey, wait a minute. There's a dot all the way up by Tengu's Vault? It's a lot easier to run caravans than to sell from a shop counter. I'd really love to find that dude, but I'm in a pretty bad position to do that right now. I also don't know what that dot is. But those two dots, I think, are part of that new assault. And then I just have to wait until the big guy attacks me again if I can't find him in the desert. See, this is what I'm used to, that they wander on their own. For whatever reason, they weren't moving before. Dust storm. Take off the helmet. Put on goggles.
Also, that samurai helmet provides full protection, but it reduces my dodge. I don't want that. Wait, you guys are going to walk through that? Seriously? You're going to willingly walk through that to attack my compound? Where even are you? I guess you're trying to navigate around it. This is definitely part of the assault. Speaking of which, how much time do I have? They haven't even left Traitor's Edge yet. Looks like someone's farming. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but it's way more interesting when... Okay, everyone just got really mad at me now that this guy went down. But it's much more interesting to watch combat play out when you can actually... Oh. Have those interruption actions. Pretty neat. I suppose I could train off of these fools. If I can catch up to him. Playing dead. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, he's over there. Three minutes. Please get up, please get up, please get up. Oh, skimmer. And now I get pot shots. Bam. Well, I don't want to be here when he leaves the unconscious state. He's just going to go into playing dead. And he is anyway. There we go. And he predictably goes for medic. That is fine. Wow, what is this guy? Oh, he's named. A nice sword he got there. Was this guy named? Heft? Wait, what? He just despawned as I ran over there? What about the guy who was fighting me? What just happened? The red dot is in here now, I guess. That was weird. They're not ninjas, they're samurai. These are ninjas. Great job, Beep. Bring such pride to the Bane of Empires clan. Do need to train my dodge, though. That's not so bad. It's really going to hurt if I get hit, though. 
Samurai can't be ninjas. What are you talking about? They were mortal enemies throughout the whole time. Ouch. Oh, what? I'm in the cloud? Get out of here. I should get some protection from that. That would be really good to have. Oh, man, he's getting away from me. Ah! Okay, so get out of this stuff. Medic. And I'll go catch up. Actually, yeah, I can splint just a little bit. It'll increase my damage. Assuming I get into a fight, which is pretty common. That dot is still in Trader's Etch for some reason. So let's stop and see if there's this one's anything special. That's the one I was following. Oh. What are you guys doing over here? Crippled. Playing dead. What's around here that's making you play dead? I just got up. Hopefully it's not one of those giant spiders. I would have stuck around to eat them, so I guess not. Wait a second. Samurai Conscript. Yeah, you guys are way too easy. You're not special. You're not named. And now it's over here? I'm standing right on top of it. Where is this assault? Oh, there's a dot in here. All right. Let's go see. It'd actually be quite to my benefit to fight them in the Deadlands. Even outnumbered, every second counts for my advantage. Now that dot is moving again. What? Are you the dudes I was just fighting? Bark, Plank, Lars. Was it Lars? I was talking about his super, si super shiny sword. How about the war leader? These definitely look like edge weapons. What happened to the other dude? Yeah, it was Lars. Okay. 86% chance to knock him out again. What is that? Let's go see what he has. Oh, it's a Mark III. It's not too bad. A specialist armored hood. That's pretty nice. Protection from acid and burning. The ones I care about. 
99% on Lars. No, Heft was the guy that I took out before. He was the guy who was actually on the ground. Lost a leg or something. I should be taking these swords. Go do that. Sell for 7,000 a piece. Oop, don't equip that. Negative martial arts. Okay. Plank and Lars. When was it disappearing? No, it wasn't Plank. It started with an H. I think it was Heft. Drop them in acid water. Well, it's too late now. I'm going to fall behind these guys. But I could knock these guys down. Besides, they do have acid resistance. But that is pretty easy to handle as well. Take the sword. Take that. That has acid resistance. Just move it off. Pick up. And thankfully, I'm immune to acid. This thing. Those are the freaking scary ones. Drop him, please. Let's go get a good look at this beast. Just look at that thing walk. And remember, that can eat you. And you just didn't care. Come on this way. Sup, guys. How you doing? Yes. He wasn't trying to hit me, but... wasn't trying to hit him, but he hit him several times. Yikes! Acid doesn't protect versus water? Well, I didn't know that. Hey, blood? Has acid particles? Anyway, I'm, a, anyway, I'm a little busy to investigate that. That may not be true. I'm a little busy. <laughs> I'm just hoping to knock him out so that this spider can... Ow! Take him out. Almost. One hit. Ow! Nope. Hit him, please. I'm a master of AI manipulation. Get him! So bullshit that you don't care about this guy. There's also... I should not have been hit by that. My character is way too fast to control, even at normal speed. Hey, look at these guys that got stuck. Slave Trader sucks for you. He'll swim through the acid before this thing can catch up with me. Now do you care? He's probably just going to get beat up. Dude just lost an arm. Yeah. I'm just hoping for him to get knocked out. He gets eaten alive. Only taking 12 damage. Oh, man. Yeah, you're screwed. Just the acid rain will take you out. Hit him in the stomach, please. Do it. Do it. Oh, he woke up from it. Being eaten alive. We saw that for just a second there. Oh, I totally forgot. Medic. 
Elite Hunter Assault. You're really not going to help me out here, man. Why can I not? Oh, Beep is already here. Jeez. All right. Let's take out this dude. They're going down super easy because they have uh, no weapons. Here's Sue. Can I get your sword? I want that. He obviously doesn't have a sword. I don't want your animals, dude. Here, I'll talk to you just so you go away. I only got four swords, so I missed one somewhere. Not you. Not you. Random paladin playing dead. It's so annoying that they can't even starve to death. He's been playing dead for days. These guys are still here. <laughs> oh yeah, the dude that got eaten. Well, he... Almost got eaten. It started, he woke up, and it kind of walked away. I didn't actually check if he, if he died. Which I should have, because it doesn't know that the assault is over yet. Let's go see if he's fighting people off. So, you're the war leader. I thought someone else was the war leader. Well, it doesn't matter to me. Kill you either way. Hey, wait a minute. You are not in the negative. Was there another guy I didn't know about? Wait, who's fighting who now? Slave traders and nomads. Okay, I don't care. Where did the other guy go? Slave trader... There's a blood spot. You've seen raids with two war leaders. Okay. I didn't notice that before. He's definitely not in the acid. What the, ah! What are you doing up there? Friendo? He's a dead inquisitor. Oh, whatever. If he shows up, he shows up. He won't be that difficult. He's already severely injured, and he went down in the acid. There we go. Assault has ended. Let's get everyone back up here. Beep needs to get back in bed. Yeah, he means... Assault led by people with names. Like High Inquisitor Seda or Igor, as I just dealt with. Who is still apparently wandering the desert somewhere. Who knows? Maybe they'll try again. I assume they will try again. They have just this way of reappearing. With the next assault. It'll be like, oh, hey, I guess who's fully recovered now? It's like, what? I thought he was an inch from death. It's like, yeah, but you didn't kill him. So he can fully recover just like you can. Great. 
I need another bed. You did make it here, right? Okay. Sad nail? Good. I don't know which way the bed faces. It's going to bother me if they face opposite directions. Will it bother me enough to bring it down? Probably not. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah, I still have someone to grow. I've been saying for multiple episodes now I need to train my dodge, but there's no good way to do that. You don't have to worry about him. If he comes back, I will actually have the turret this time. All I have to do is hit him in the head, and there's half his hit points gone. Seriously, this thing is crazy. This is... 94 damage before the bonus from being... Like four stories higher than my target. <laughs> Jesus, it's been almost six hours. And I told myself this would be a normal length stream this time. I guess six hours is more or less my normal nowadays. Yay, production is finally resuming because I finally used some stuff. Did someone use that bed? All you people who are waiting in line to heal apparently don't need to heal anymore. I guess it is facing the right direction. Just for those of you with obsessive tendencies. Okay. I may be a streamer, but I'm not I'm not a full-time streamer, all right? Would that be great? Yeah, yeah, it would. But I have bills to pay, and I'm not doing this for the money. If I could make a living off of this, yeah, I certainly would. And I've actually... <sighs> am, I really, am I really ready to, to share this with you guys? Yeah, okay. So, uh, the stream is over here. I'm just going to save it, and probably when I come back, it's going to be another assault. <laughs> but I'm going to go over one of my projects really quickly, which is actually why my more... Isn't Dodge best trained by fighting big groups of enemies, weak enemies with block on? Maybe it is. I assume that you have to train against better people, but just spamming it like crazy is actually how I trained up my dexterity skill and my katana skill. As I fought a really weak leviathan, because they heal super fast, I fought a really weak leviathan with a really weak katana. Katanas went up like crazy. Melee attack went up like crazy. It was super weak, so you get super little little experience for each hit. But you can just keep hitting the thing over and over and over again, hundreds of times, until it finally dies. So they can surround and hit you while stumbling. Yes, that might be it. I would certainly have to put on better armor. Especially because the armor would limit my dodge, which means I get hit more often, which counts as more failures, which gives more experience. Yeah, yeah, that'd probably be the fastest way. But then you have to wait for recovery and all that other nonsense. So I may certainly need to try it next episode. We will see. With what I know about other stats, that's probably the best way. But anyway, uh, if you have any more Kenchi questions, now is the time. I'm going to quickly bring something up for anyone who is interested in seeing what I've been working on lately. Because I am also known not just for streaming, but for uh, producing Kenchi content. Things like 
armor videos, damage videos, things like that. The one I've been working on is the automation video that was supposed to come out this weekend, but I've been distracted with my own personal projects, which is related to the whole not needing to work for my boss thing. So if any of you are interested in seeing what that's all about, you can stick around for a couple of minutes. Anyone who's just here for Kenshi, I am done with that. Yes, I have a YouTube under the same name. I upload all of my streams raw. And I'll actually link it just so that's easy for you guys. The series where I talk about all the Kenshi math and stuff is called Hacking Kenshi. It's in its own playlist. Stuck yourself in a shack with a bunch of bandits. Turn block on. Yeah. Yeah, that would do it. But if you lock them in a cage, I consider that to be uh, cage training. Lock them in a the building, I consider that cage training. Which would be against the rules for this one, but it would be totally within reason for another playthrough. That's something I might actually have to do for the next one I have planned. Which is going to be more dispersed than what I'm used to. Just go to the Cannibal Lands. Yeah, that would do it too. Easily get completely swarmed. That's actually... I used to hate cannibals so much. I just would run through there as fast as possible, right along the coastline, just to get to the Leviathan coast. Until one time, I had such a terrible experience with them. But I fought it out. I had my main character with the Nodachi, and he was so bad at it. He had like 20 dexterity when I started this. It took him like 3-4 hits to take out basic things and he swung it so slow it's like why do i even have you equipped it with this thing it was terrible but then some of my other favorite characters got captured and they got taken to dead cat it's like well now what and what i ended up doing was getting a bedroll and i would just heal up that one character use everyone else's distractions run in and just just lay out everything with that one guy in the course of about four hours of that of non-stop cannibal fighting with only the occasional heal and so many times getting knocked unconscious toughness went up like crazy dexterity went up like crazy katana skill went up like crazy i was one-shotting everything he would do a sweep attack and four things would just die that's when i finally appreciated just intensity training even if it's just a bunch of weak enemies. If there's enough of them, you'll get that XP. They would eat beep if they won. What I've been doing with more dangerous things like that is I bring other people with me, mainly the rest of the A team here, like Crumble John, Burn, Wing Wing, Agnew. I get them in the fight, I space them out, I put them all on taunt and all on block. Beep has to do all the work. He gets all the combat XP as far as actually dealing damage is concerned, dodge and martial arts, all that fun stuff. And then if he gets in trouble, I just take off block from everyone else and they clean up. No one has to get knocked out. Stay in Cannibal Lands with the Cannibal Start until you're ready to take on Dead Cat. That sounds like fun. That really does. One of the things I wanted to do for a while is make make my own cannibal start or the uh, the cannibal hunter start. Except you actually start at the cannibal hunter HQ. You have to kill all the cannibals and dead cat, and then or not dead cat. Finger. It's not black finger. It's dark finger. Kill all the cannibals in Darkfinger and then move on, hunt all the camps down, and take on the uh, cannibal capital, Dead Cat. That's a run I had planned. 
but it's it is really a thing though. It's a little bit too focused uh, for one of my runs. But it is pretty nice starting off with random gear, random mismatched gear, instead of having everyone run around in samurai plate all the time. On a shorter run like that, you wouldn't be able to afford it. Especially if you restrict yourself to fighting cannibals. You'd be stuck with your basic equipment forever. <laughs> or whatever you could buy from selling bounties and heads. Or their swords if you're really dedicated, but basic rules to say you can't do that. But then you also have to get your food from things like their heads and bounties. Leaves nothing left for equipment. On the other hand, you don't have to worry about medical, since all the better ones carry medical. Infinite supply. That's why it's so great for training. All you have to do is feed yourself. Everything else takes care of itself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, someone was kind enough in my YouTube comments to tell me that trick. I always thought it was weird. It's like, why do some of them stack, some of them not? And it turns out it's that stolen trigger. That's the problem. Yes, I'm working on an automation. My people under attack. Oh, that's easy. I'm not saving this progress anyway. They can do whatever they want. Beep. Go mess some people up. Yeah, uh, my automation vid, base automation, is about 80% done. I'm trying something new with that as well. It's going to be easier to follow along with than my usual content. That actually, tomorrow, technically today, but in about six hours is when episode 13 of this playthrough drops. And then within a couple of days, I'll have the automation video up. But anyway, sort of speaking of moving up in the world, I can finally get to my project I was talking about. This is what has been holding me back or keeping me distracted. I am automating the stock market. This is the daily report that my program generates for myself, entirely written by myself in Python. This is my plan for leaving the nine to five workforce. And if my math is correct, I can leave by next year. Now, of course, all these numbers here are for my own reference. I'm not going to bother mentioning what every single number means or what the colors mean or whatever else. But what I will say is this little point right here. Everything starts at 1. That's 
And then this is one year of historical data. These are the ones that my program decided to invest in. So I can see if something goes wrong, I can take a look and see like, oh, this is probably not a good idea. But uh, so you can move 50 days or not 50 days. This is 50 market days. So about 10 weeks, two and a half months later, this is where the individual stock went from that point. So 100% was from a year ago. Then it went up, it went down, it went back up, and it went back down. And this is the point after two and a half months. You can track it all the way across. You can see this one flatlined for a while. For whatever reason, the data didn't change for about seven months. So I deleted that one. As soon as I saw that, I just took it off. I can't make accurate predictions when I don't have data. So if you want to know more about that, you can find the Discord link and bother me there. I'm not going to go into detail with this on a stream unless you know people are really into it. But yeah, that's my plan. That's been my little distraction. I've put probably 20 hours into it in the last two weeks. 12 hours in like three days. It's pretty neat. So yeah, if I can pull that off, I need something to do with my time. I can only learn so many new things. Like go learn martial arts or something. I don't know. What do people do when they're retired? Especially when they're retired in their 20s. <laughs> I don't fucking know. But hey, it's a goal. Become beep. But no. As depressing as it sounds, I really just want to get some cheap house out in the woods somewhere away from everyone. <laughs> I'm so tired of this city. I'd rather deal with the bugs than uh, human pests. But that's just my cynicism talking. Oh, and get a dog. Live out in the woods with a dog. That'd be fun. It means I actually have to go outside every day. <laughs> but hey, if it works, I'm going to need something to do with my time. I might as well stream or... What I was actually thinking about doing is I'm super excited about this new game. I'll bring that up for you. It comes out March 26th. Uh, I talked about it before. I'm actually in direct contact with the developer, and the CEO of this company is on my friends list. I gifted him a copy of Kenji. Because <laughs> why not? Well, you can't knock 9 to 5 entirely. There's so much history. You can look at, like, uh, peasants. Peasants in medieval times. They worked less than we do. It was like half the days in the year they considered holidays. Even days when they did work. I mean, of course, it'd be hard labor. Really hard labor. But still, they wouldn't be working like 10, 12-hour days. Unless, you know, the the farm or something required it so why do we work so much more now that's because of standard of living you have plumbing running water gas to your house you probably have some form of forced air heat or radiator heat both of which require a furnace or electricity. Electricity is its own thing. Think about all these services. They all require resources. They all require manpower. They all require training. 
And all of those things require more resources, manpower, and training. It trickles all the way down. All of those things need to be supported. And how do you think they're supported? With money. Some of it is tax dollars. Some of it is how much employers have to charge for their services or products. And you can certainly live much cheaper than that if you just give up those things. Go live in an off-grid society. They might not even have property tax out there, depending on how things are set up. You might not have to pay it directly. Oh, sorry. I didn't say the name of the game. I was talking about Outward. Releases on 26th of, 26th of March. I basically think of it as third-person Kenshi. Except you know it's not squad-based. You can have one friend join you, either online or through split-screen co-op. It looks freaking awesome. I think I'm going to love this game. And I went so far as to ask the developer, hey, could you give me a pre-release copy? As I think the Kenshi community is really going to love this. I'd like to make some content for them. And uh, basically they told me that they can't actually do that. It would have to be the publisher who sent me a copy because they signed on with someone else who has to control who has what information. Hopefully I've made enough of a reputation for myself for them to actually consider it. But since it's only two months away, there's no telling. They might just say no, just because it's so close. Either way, I will be playing this. I want to get my streams mostly done so I can play that. It's going to be great. You might not think that two months is coming fast for a stream like mine. Six hours a piece. But... I have a lot of work left to do on this stream to finish up this run. I would really like to get it done before moving on to, to another game. And that's only eight streams away. I might have to double up some weekends. So super excited. Hopefully I can get people to play this with me. That would make some great streams. I've also talked to the developers about getting them on the stream. I've talked to other streamers about teaming up. Yeah, Kenji takes a really long time. I'm somewhere between 15 and 60 hours on this one playthrough. But I have a very specific end goal, and I've made very specific choices to make this harder on myself, to keep it interesting. Had I known this was coming out before I started, I would have made something a little simpler. And for those of you watching on YouTube, I am not giving up on my Skeleton Monks playthrough, martial arts only. I'm not done with Kenji either. I have way more videos to make, professional videos. I have more streams to run, all kinds of interesting things but it's not going to be my primary focus once I'm absorbed in something else like this. Oh, you want to talk about that bad? It's 8 a.m. here. <laughs> I've been at this for six and a half hours. Nightlife hype. Yeah, except I have to get up for work in five hours. So it's a good thing I caught up on my rest over the weekend. Anyway, a little more about Outward. It's basically the adventuring game. 
You're not a hero. You're not special. You start out super weak, just like Genshi. And you have to earn it. You have to earn your skills. You have to earn your equipment. Things like that. And the defeat scenarios... Actually, the game is pretty difficult as a general rule. I've seen the developers play it. It's tough. Especially if you make bad choices. It can be pretty tough. Things like that desert. Don't wear chainmail in the desert. It's really, really hot. Full plate mail, same thing. First person Kenji, that's exactly what I said the first time I saw it. It's like, that's fucking awesome. But, yeah, lots of cool powers. There's a really cool class system. You don't actually pick a class, and you don't make one in the traditional sense either. There are eight trainers, and you can get the basic skills for all of them. But you can only max out three trees. So you get to try everything, all of the basics, before you make your decision. And then you say, oh, I want to be, I want to specialize in throwing fireballs at people. I was like, okay, fine. You can go ahead and do that. And you'll get some really good fireballs and stuff. But that's taking away one of your other options. You can only specialize in three things out of eight. So, just some quick, dirty math. That's 336 class combinations. Not including all the other various things you can do, like heavy armor, light armor, your choice of weaponry, specifically. Like maces function differently than axes and swords. And you have the two-handed versions of those weapons. You have bows. You have fire magic, ice magic, wind magic, runic magic, chakra magic. Daggers, which is assassination magic. You have traps and poisons, which are not skills. Those are equipment. You have all kinds of elemental boosts. You can run with a sword and a shield. Spears, pole arms. Halberds. Hmm. Spellcasting and even melee is rather ritualistic. Like, um, it was a really good example. Is There's a spell called Spark. It's actually a fire spell. But you cast it, and it's, it's like a little puff. That's it. It's just poof. does practically nothing. But you can use it to start a fire, so it's kind of useful. But if you take the time to make or purchase something called a fire stone, you can cast what you call a fire sigil with your the skill, the specific skill. And there's a ring of fire on the ground, which for one thing is really good for staying warm in the winter. For another thing, if you're standing inside it when you cast the, the uh, spell spark, instead of doing the little poof, you actually throw a real fireball that explodes and sets things on fire. So you have to do things in the right order, standing in the right position to get the best results, which makes things really interesting when it's a melee enemy that runs up. It's like, oh, well... Do I take that last pot shot with a fireball and risk getting smacked in the face? Or do I dodge out of the way and try to make the best that I can do with a melee weapon? There's some really interesting decisions that come from that. Now, in terms of ritualistic melee fighting, what I was talking about, uh, that's called the... There's a warrior monk tree. Of course, that was a... I saw it in beta, so it could change. But what I saw is that certain abilities can only be used while you have the buff called... Oh, I forget what it's called. It's called Determination or something like that. God, it's going to bother me. Anyway, I'm going to call it Determination, even though it's not what it's called. It's because I need a word for it. So there's a basic skill called Focus, which can give you that buff, and then you use that. Either it's consumed in certain abilities, or you need it to trigger certain abilities. So it's a certain gate. But it's more interesting than just hit a button, activate it. Because there are other skills, like one called Brace, where you use it, and it blocks any attack, 
and it pushes all enemies back. Great thing if you're outnumbered, but it has a long cooldown. But it also triggers that buff. So now you can use your better attacks, which also increases that buff increases your physical damage. So you also have interesting decisions like do I consume the buff to get one big hit? Or do I hold on to it to do more damage on my little strikes, my faster strikes, the safer strikes? It also has a punishing survival system in that your maximum health will deplete slowly as you take damage. Your maximum stamina will deplete as you use it and over time, forcing you to sleep. You don't actually start the game with a mana bar. You have to earn it by going to a specific place that I won't mention. And you have to sacrifice maximum health and math, maximum mana to get maximum health and stamina to get the mana bar. So you have to decide for yourself, is it worth it? So you have to sleep in this game, you have to eat, you have to drink, you have to deal with poisons, diseases, traps, dungeons, even just walking from one town to another. Oh, no fast travel, by the way. Just walking from one town to another, or one town to the edge of the map, so you can warp to another region. Just that alone is part of the adventuring experience, and they make sure that you engage with it. Even your basic bandits will kill you if you're not paying attention. Or if you're not properly prepared for the elements, you're in a pretty bad shape. Man, I've talked about this game for a long time. Anyway, I'm excited. If you would like to play that with me, let me know. Uh, the best place to organize would be on my Discord. I think there's a link to that on my Twitch. I'm not sure about that. If there isn't, let me know. I'll figure it out. But that's still two months away, so no rush. Anyway, I really need to get to bed. So thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully I see you next time. Hopefully I can kill Igor next time and figure out why he has a saber instead of a moon cleaver. But my Twitch is empty. Okay, I'll have to figure that out. Actually, just let me write down that note right now. And in the meantime, I will actually I need to switch this off. I will drop the link right now. There you go. Uh, it's a pretty empty Discord at the moment. But again, it's going to be getting a lot more use in a couple months. What else was it? Oh, right. Uh, donations. I need to set up donations. By request. I'm not going to handle all of that tomorrow. And, wow. From this one stream, I'm up to 167 followers and 12 subscribers. That was really good. My best one yet, actually. So, uh, thank all of you for making this happen, and we'll see what we can do next time. Cheers. This is Terminal Account.